Bonacera. Hey! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to us, Fate's Grip, and your Dungeons and Dragons uh, Australia um, stream. Uh, we've had a break, uh, but we are back. We've had a three week hiatus. Um, <laughs> hopefully, as m uh, you missed us as much as we missed you. I know I did. Oh my um, gosh. And <laughs> the struggle street. Yeah. I had nothing to look forward to. No. no. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. It was a really, really busy, busy um, uh, holiday season for us. Uh, no, so no, no. I think I, I, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I know for me, it was actually. Oh, yeah, it was a bit of a relief not to, you know, to, to just concentrate on, on work-related things. Um, and, uh, but I did miss this a lot. Um, the, um, I, guess, I guess we've got a few announcements to get through. So um, the first one I want to do, if that's okay, is um, you, because you've all heard it already, is the little bit of music that was playing um, during the um, yes we, I if I during the during the starting soon, and that was made by an amazing musician, very talented. a so very talented. very talented guy by the name of, by the name of Odin Johansson. Now um, I'd love to shout him out uh, for making that uh, beautiful beautiful piece. That's now our Fate's Grip um, little theme song, uh, which is super cool. And that's, that's happened in the last three weeks. Um, so if uh, everyone, or if anyone wants to catch up with uh, other amazing things that he does. Yes. His, so many amazing things. Yeah, he, so he has um, an Instagram, um, which is uh, Odin, O-D-E-N, underscore, Johansson, J-O-H-A-N-S-S-O-N. Yeah. Can um, I add to this as please. well, if that's okay? Um, Odin is also part of a band called Like Thieves. So yeah. check out their band, Like Thieves. Really, really cool Brisbane-based um, rock, alternative, punk, hardcore, whatever you want to call them. Amazing music. You mm. can find it on Apple Music and also on Spotify as well. Yeah. But on top of that, Odin and I started talking about this theme song. And he was like, I'd be really keen to try it out. And I was like, yeah, man. He was like, give us some examples. And I was like, I don't have any. <laughs> um, and so I got real drunk. And I sent <laughs> him through pretty much a biography of what our campaign was about. And Odin was like, wow, that was a really cool description. Here's a piece of music. And he had it, like, ready to go. He'd already mostly created it. And then he posted on Instagram and it popped up on our story as well. Him just like jamming with his electric guitar. And I was just like, man, this guy, like he knew how to capture the theme of our campaign yeah. mm. in a song. Yeah. He, also, he also does lessons too. Uh, he does. Yeah. yeah. So if you are in the Brisbane area and you want to learn from someone who's an amazing I think musician, he does it digital too. Yeah, he'll do it yeah, by distance. So yeah, reach out. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, that's me for now. Um, I'll roll back to me at the end. But who else wants to... Uh, uh, continue please oh, so yeah something else very exciting happened while we we're on break which is we hit a thousand followers on twitter which is really really ridiculous cool. yeah thank you so much it's so awesome to see all the awesome kind of creators and artists and people running their own campaigns who just join up every week it's yeah. mad um and to celebrate we're going to be giving away some awesome merch from two very cool people who have been with us pretty much from the beginning so if you're looking at our overlay you'll see the meeples and dragons logo floating there and to celebrate, we're giving away a dragon baggin, which is a very cool dragon-shaped dice bag, which you can see on meeplesanddragons.com. You can pick a colour there as well if you like yeah. enough to win. .com.au. And along with that, we'll also be giving away, to the same lucky winner, a Looking Glass XL, which is basically like a really cool dice box with a clear um, kind of glass It's lid. glass. It's glass yeah, it's etched. Glass, glass etched. And you can have that etched with the character class of your choice as well. So if you win and you pick the best one, which is cleric, <laughs> it'll be pretty Whatever. Awesome. Yeah. Whatever. Or monk. <laughs> or monk. Yeah. Awesome. That's it for me. But yeah, check it out. If you actually uh, want to buy any of the other awesome stuff, that's meeplesanddragons.com. I and think we're also going to give some dice away that you can put in there as well. Mm -hmm. we'll, be, um, we'll be posting more details about uh, how to enter uh, uh, on our Twitter page. 
Excellent. Thank you so much. Who's next? Go. I guess it's me. Um, so, speaking of a thousand followers and giving things away, everyone rallied behind a certain milestone that um, oh, yeah. that I kind of set a challenge for. It was like, hey, if we hit a thousand followers before we get back from our three, two and a half ish week break, um, I will get a tattoo that says Fate's Grip. We hit a thousand followers, so I'm gonna get a tattoo. It has been highly requested that I live stream this. Yeah. Um, so I will be live streaming this when I book it in. <laughs> um, Not sure however, we needed something for me to be able to tattoo. So we reached out to um, a really good friend <laughs> of ours. His name is Elliot Esdale. I'll drop in his Instagram as well who very, very kindly designed us a brand new logo. So very shortly, I'm going to drop this logo on our Twitter so you can have a look at the full, um, the full screen design. It is incredible. Awesome. Um, Elliot worked really hard on this. I know Michaela and I were probably big pains in the asses when it came to this. Elliot um, sent through like 10 different versions of this. And we were like, oh, can you just change this tiny little thing? And then and then this this thing as well. And I think <laughs> yeah. we did that like 10 times. And we got it back so quickly. Yeah. Um, it is it incredible. Really Thank you so much, you. Um, Elliot. We really appreciate you. So I will be getting a fine line version of this logo, as well as the words Fate Script, tattooed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Haven't decided yet. Um, and you guys Should we here. let the stream decide? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We should put up a poll. 2000, yeah. Um, put up a poll. I need to have a career. Neck tattoo. <laughs> so, um, I will... No, we can put in, like, suggestions and they have to vote for it. Oh, absolutely, um... Not consider that. Not consider that at all. <laughs> you get to pick all I, the will, areas. I will be picking the area that I get this tattoo done. <laughs> um, I will post this logo so you can see what it looks like, so you know what to look out for. And any updates about me live streaming a tattoo will be posted to the Twitter. That's the only place you're going to hear about it. So make sure you follow us on twitter.com forward slash Fates Grip. Do you have an artist chosen already? I do not have an artist chosen already. However, I have. Uh, some intel that there is a tattoo shop opening very nearby to oh, our yeah. workplace <laughs> that I'm thinking I could just walk out of the store and <laughs> go straight into. So I just <laughs> want to shout out um, Heli and Flyer there. That would be dope to get Fate's grip on your knuckles. Ooh. Oh, God. That, that would be gangster <laughs> ass. Absolutely not. And then buy, a, <laughs> buy a motorcycle after. Um, <laughs> if you haven't already seen the logo, I might be able to low qual hold it up for you. Mm on my iPad. We could even, um, as, as, uh, yeah, there we go. It is, yeah, it's pretty, uh, I mean, I, without doing a, sh there's just so much support that we've gotten over this last yeah. couple of weeks in regards to, um, our friends and family and that. Yeah. Um, I'll and be dropping Elliot's Instagram in yeah, the chat right really now. Really check well. these guys out. Um, Odin and Elliot. Mm -hmm. Um, we're so thankful for your support and the help that we've gotten there. Thank you. Um, who else? I'm also going to post that right now so you can have a look One, at it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, it's back to me because I think that's all <laughs> done. Because um, speaking of support, over the last three weeks, I've been in contact with an amazing dice maker. Yes. And that dice maker is in Melbourne and he's been, again, so, so, so generous good. to us. So good. Um, and, and supporting us. Aeoncraft, once again, um, we really, really appreciate you. Um, uh, you being here and uh, chatting to us all the time um, the one thing that I was able to acquire from him um, are these yeah these are amazing dice and the these logo dice and the, tin. the oh, logo so and the good. tin nice. looks amazing I did not expect and he um, the, the the beauty of this set out um, the dice he was very very uh, hesitant to give up um, and I don't know, this will not do it justice uh. at all, but we've got some amazing handmade dice that I think even he streamed that he was finishing off. I got to see them on stream. Yeah. They yeah. are so good. They're amazing. Um, so I, I did um, ask him, you know, what his favorite was and he just sort of shakingly, I think, uh, uh, get, gave these over. So thank you so much, Aaron yeah. Carpton. Wait a second. What? Oh. Huh. 
I wonder, I wonder, what, I wonder what this is. Oh, that's interesting. I, it's a bag. I, it is a bag, but within the bag, oh, look at this. An another, another box. <laughs> it seems as though he's um, been so generous that he's actually gifted this to one of you. Um, and I'll be honored to approach you. Emily with this uh, as a what as a, <laughs> <laughs> no as a gift from Aeoncraft I haven't opened it um, we don't know what's inside I, I just instantly started sweating <laughs> <laughs> um, Aeoncraft wanted wanted um, this to be to be given to you um, no. and just as a, a Aeoncraft if these are the dice I think they are I'm going to be really upset <laughs> <laughs> so um, please open them on stream um, there's a little note in there that he, he wrote me another a, a little note as well. Um, read, just read as it a is it readable? It says a little gift for you to enjoy because you love them so much. Thanks Aww. to you and the group for being awesome. Open them up. Show, show us. Come show on, us what, what you on. got. Come on. Show that. Show everybody. They're the ones <laughs> that I love. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> I have to leave the stream. Um. <laughs> I love these so much. You'll have, to, you'll have to hand them around so that everyone can have a bit of a look. Oh, they're not going to show up on stream no, that no, well. No. But, okay, so I saw these dice on his Instagram and mm. I instantly commented and I was like, holy fuck, these dice are so pretty. And I, like, replied to him a million times being like, no, oh, they're so cool, blah, blah, blah. And then I jumped on his stream. He was pouring dice. And I stayed there for so long because I've never seen anyone actually pour dice on a stream before. I was asking him a bunch of questions about it. And these had, like, he was explaining that you can't just sand an ink dice straight after they've been in the pressure pot because they've got to have time to do whatever they do. Um, but these ones had had enough time that he could polish them and ink them. And he asked me what colour ink he should ink them with. And he's done the colour that I suggested. <laughs> but I actually was going to reach out and ask to buy them off him. And I went back onto the Instagram because he posted them again. And it said sold underneath them. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> That's devastating. And, but, and, oh, and I, these are my favorite dice I now own. Thank you, A.L. Craft. I'm so happy. Would thank you, you so much for, for that. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a princely just, gift. Um, so, uh, that's that. Um, I guess I guess it's, it's about time, guys, to... Um, to bring it in and we, we Wait, might I'm sorry no please <laughs> there's one more thing yeah no it's fine we gave away a dice <laughs> yeah during our break you <clears throat> may have seen oh, a please. really lame looking um, video of me sitting in front of a Christmas tree that Michaela thought was green screened that actually wasn't green screened a um, beautiful tree. but I just wanted to <laughs> thank you um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the winner of our um, dice giveaway um, giant chunky bloody dice 55 um, mils 55 mils yeah They're cool dice yes <laughs> <laughs> um, Thorum picked it out um, nice. the winner of that one was um, D&D wife thank you D&D wife <laughs> uh, husband yeah. husband and wife um, duo they have a twitter themselves a DM they play they're really cool people thank you awesome excellent alright I, I I'd hate to interrupt one more time. No, please. Aeoncraft, those dice are amazing. Um, the camera just does not pick up the fine detail that's in there. They are, even the um, numerics in there are just so all hands done as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. Oh, really nice, yeah. mm. Make sure you check him out. Is that Fool's Gold? I'm not too sure. Fool's Gold? Hmm. You know, like that. That uh, little... The flex, of the, the flex, stuff. yeah, I think they are. Yeah. Um, I like to call it Thor Room Skull. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Maybe that's the next dice. Name. I'm only rolling. <laughs> dice. That is actually oh. a really cool name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thorum's, Thorum's Thorum's gold. Gold. I'm only rolling these tonight. Red and gold. Um, feel free to have a have a close look at these. Have yeah, I want to see those too. <laughs> yeah. Um, are these his favourite? These are kind of like that. They are actually kind of gold and red. Mm. They're nice. Dice porn. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I'm just going to go look at dice now. Yeah, see, yeah, okay, that, that's us. Um, I've influenced so, everyone. We are going to delve in now 
and I will recap. Um, it will be from episode 43, which was Shiva. Shiva. A shiva. <laughs> 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 So, let's pick up pick up where we left off. Now, let me see if I remember how to DM. I was just thinking, like, am I, I'm going to be rusty. Thorums five, fresh off the airship in Shan, encountered many wondrous and fantastic sights in the grandest metropolis in Corvair. You discovered and broke apart the Venerable's Thieves Guild. Shopped goods from many merchants, including Regav Sel, the Enchanter. Studied tomes and learned new skills. Won the hearts and thanks of many citizens. Jousted, spoke and drank. Farewell, a companion. Why does this sound like an obituary? Feld, <laughs> we're all about we're to all die. <laughs> we all got pushed into the lava. Feld, a warforged <laughs> giant, bargained for a crown, and all the while delved deeply into your personal <laughs> demons and quests. You travelled all levels and into other planes to find your destinies. Thora, to appease your god and cure the Red Death. Gunnar, to understand Psionics and Oberdin's intentions. Rook, to stop the Lord of Blades and his armies. And Amara, to rid Corvair of the Dreaming Dark. With these threads intertwined, you have found yourselves in the King Baronel's favor of Breland and have acquired Pylos Tower, your very first home, and were swept away quickly from there to the Maraw Holds, where Vala, a drow and sister to the mother matron of this evil, accompanies you. As you teleported there to Krona Peak, with Fariso's help and the teleportation circle to help uncover the source of the Red Death and Thurim's task, Melestra, the Archmage of House Kenneth, appeared and began to shout a warning to you, but was suddenly sent flying backward into a river of lava and disappeared beneath the burning surface. And Fariso, with a shining wand of light and twisting color, points this at you with a resigned look, simply saying, fine. So, you have stopped in silence, a drip, drip from above, a high cavern with hardly any light shining through, bar for these odd looking small magical flames that seem to be embedded in the vast walls of this place. Underneath thick silky web that just coats the floor, walls, and in the distance cavern ceilings of this place. You're still unsteady on your feet after <coughs> seeing this shock occurrence within but moments of you landing here. Your eyes still almost adjusting to the darkness. Underneath you, you feel that stickiness of spider's web, <coughs> much larger silk strands than you're used to seeing between trees and shrubs of smaller spider. But you do see in the darkness below, at your feet, hundreds of tiny eight-legged creatures, 
sprawling of different color of reds, dark blues around you, avoiding you. Sometimes a, a tickle on your ankle and then scurrying away. You see bodies of dwarves and drow alike wrapped in this thick silk meters away. Some are still moaning underneath these layers upon layers. And Farisa, with a wand towards you, his head bowed slightly. I have done things. Melestra was going to tell you. I, I could not anticipate the chaos, the consequences. I suppose he looks back for a moment. Should she emerge, the truth may as well come from me. I knock an arrow. Okay. <laughs> so as he sees you take a, <clears throat> an arrow to your bow. I'm listening for you, sir. Do not act until you've listened <clears throat> to everything. Can I just get like a like a lay of this scenario? He's pushed Melestra into lava. How far away from the lava is he? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably about 40 to 50 feet away. Okay. And he's pretty close to you. So you are all... The, the scene is laid out so that you are all surrounding each other, only a few feet apart. Okay. He had turned quickly with her sound, with her echo in the room, and, 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 fl and flung her away and out of sight. Are we around him? Not surrounding him, but he is part of the circle, with Vala as well, this drow in the middle Osei is with you as well when okay. he cast from the wand what colour was there like was there an energy that came from it a white energy a white string okay. glowing okay you're in a you're in a vast hall where there is a large bridge with different layers and levels of rock that are jutting out from the ground some small staircases leading up to these small platforms um, it looks just like a, 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 an enormous area of this place that you're in. You, you were told you were going to be transported to Krona Peak, the, the capital of the Moor Holds, and this is where you are. And apart from the bridge and this glowing lava in the room, it's dark, apart from these also glowing little torches that are almost stuck to the walls probably about 20 of them scattered directly behind you is a small caved in room that you can't seem to enter which which has a broken door that once led into another another way and beyond you beyond the bridge seems to be this opening which seems to be man-made, but not with a door. It just seems to lead into another area of this place. But from this vantage point, even with dark vision, it's difficult to make out anything beyond. And the ceiling is tall. Are we standing in the web? There's really no escaping it. Looking around you, you see that this web is everywhere. It's coating the floor like, like moss would coat a like a humid rainforest 
Is it... Oh, sorry, you go. <clears throat> I assume there's all sorts of dead bugs and gunk stuck in the web, right? There's, there's hundreds and hundreds. There, there are small flies <coughs> that, are, that, have, that have been caught. Um, there are moths that are dead. There are parts of bodies that are separate from the rest that are also... Um, some of them look very, very sickly and thin. Others look meaty and still almost raw and, and, and uh, recently attached. You say, when you say bodies, you mean like... like Drow and dwarf oh, okay. looking. Okay. I'm going to make a show of getting this stuff off. You know, Ugh, it's disgusting. I'm going to start pulling it off my legs and throwing it down. Some of it I'm going to keep on me, though. I'm going to, in one hand, roll some of it up into a little ball. <laughs> Um, I'm throwing the rest away. Okay. Is this is this considered, or can I understand, is, is this difficult terrain, or is it non-magical? Make a survival check for me. Um, while he's rolling that, Aeoncraft just gifted Helion Flyer a tier one subscription. Uh, thank you, thank Aeoncraft. You, Aeoncraft. you better roll above a ten, otherwise you don't survive. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Aeoncraft. Helion, enjoy that subscription. Enjoy our stream. Glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. It's if you you're very you're very slow and and sneaky to move or move your foot and just shuffle it around a little bit and it's quite difficult to move through. So you'd assume that it's it's going to impede on your movement somewhat if you did start to walk yes do would i have understood if it was magical or is it just difficult terrain it's to you it just seems like difficult terrain at the moment can i get a rule verdict it's, I have lands, it's non-magical it's um i have land strider which makes me move through non non-magical different difficult terrain at no cost and it's a spell yeah land it's strider. just it's a feat it's a yeah it's a oh, part, it's a part of my class yeah yeah well in that case you, a special feat. Ha ha! That's amazing. <laughs> you um, you don't feel that you you don't realize that it is difficult terrain, but you don't feel the need to um, uh, to change anything you're doing. Yeah, it's it's normal movement for you. Okay, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> anything else I can clarify? All good. Nah, give us a speech. That's all right. Speech. Speech. <laughs> speech. <laughs> Wow. So <laughs> waiting three weeks for this moment <laughs> we just ruined it <laughs> not at all so three so just with his other hand the other one not taking any chances he's still pointing it in your direction and just slowly moving it around the circle this glowing short stick that's white and green and red and blue and the colors are sort of glowing and moving around this this piece I did not see this happening my intention was not to harm you he looks at you Rook I transported the Lord of Blades army further towards their goal. I brought undead to Rote. I aided you to get close to the prophecies. I need them. Bicelu was unwise to seek them out. She did not know how to make them hers. I can. I can for her. She was, she was silver tongued, my queen. Her might trapped in such a pitiful, pitiful state. I only wanted to see her, to understand her knowledge of things. She spoke to me. Molestra called me and threatened to strip me of my title afterward. I fought her and won. 
and he looks back again. She broke free of my enchantment at the last, it seems. I have blood on my hands. He looks at you, Thorin. I killed the dwarf in the bu butcher shop of Derok. I <laughs> destroyed <laughs> Count Bavi with Bicellu's help when she found out I was befriending her. I have, and he takes out from his one of his large pockets in his cloak, and he opens his hand, and he, in them, there are three large green crystals familiar to you. I went after these and caught up with the buyer and Bavolo. They are both dead. Yes! <laughs> I don't do that in character, but <laughs> I'm so glad Bavolo's dead. <laughs> my companion was my spy. The dryad Ilieri was following you. Until Barclays left, then I had to quicken them my pace. Can I ask, while this conversation is going on, can I make a perception check on, is he standing on a bridge? He's standing in a small circle around you. Oh, well, that's, he's part of this small circle, as, as you have appeared in the room. Is the bridge behind him? He's, the bridge is behind him, about 40 or 50 feet behind him. What's suspending the bridge? What's a span? What's suspending the bridge? Suspending it? Yeah. The bridge looking back briefly, make a perception check. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it's an eight. Eight? Yeah. As far as you can see, it's only stone. Stone uh, that's very masterfully built into the ground that's holding oh, yeah. it, holding it up. That answers my question. Cool. Before you continue, can I please um, <coughs> activate something? Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate my thought form. So Gunnar will slowly start to glow um, until he is transformed into the full adult form in a, a or orangey yellow glow. Um, and while I'm in that form, does, does Frieza do anything while I do this? You start to transform, but he stops speaking and simply observes the hand with the wand does come around towards you and holds for a bit longer but otherwise no so while i'm in this form i don't have to um use verbal semantic or material components to cast a spell so i will cast sending okay and I'm going to send a message to King Boronel. Mm -hmm. Frieza has betrayed us. He is a traitor to the realm. Send whatever you can to aid us. Do you say it like that or like Gunnar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is he able to reply? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I will say I am unable to continue sending speaking at this point in time there's no reply why are you confessing all this to us do you have an offer <coughs> tax time <laughs> I will explain it is her world now and my role in this is to implore you. Let me help you understand Tiamat. Let me show you how she will defeat the illusionary demon Fazabul. She will reign and I will take you all under my wing. Grow you into powerful beings rulers in your own kingdoms these are her promises to you you can become lords and lordesses of 
countries. He then moves the wand over to Vala. And suddenly, she fades. Without emotion, she simply disappears. My illusion of Vala was a hastened ploy to get you here. Um, as far as I know, if I cast Slayer's Prey on him, he doesn't know. Okay. Okay. Good to know. It's on him? Is it verbal him. and somatic though? No. Cool. It's just a little bonus that action. Again? Sorry. Um, it gives me extra damage, but it also gives me a <laughs> cover your ears. <laughs> to know. Yeah. Gives me advantage on saving throws if he casts certain spells on me. He's allowed to know. He's a DM. He's God. He you know. He can know. I didn't. Hear know. I didn't hear. <laughs> anyway. Um, I would like to insight check everything this fucker has said so far. Yep. Can I do it? Yep. Absolutely. First, first roll with the Aeon Craft dice. That's Ooh. gonna be bad. That's bad now. I'm excited. Oh, it's an 18. You're fucking up. Um, plus seven. Seven? <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Wait. Yep, twenty-five. Aircraft weapon. Um, that's a good that's dice. A very good insight roll. Uh, so let me just quickly send you something. A little um, secret. Secret. Secrete. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Someone did make a joke earlier that um, Aeoncraft might have balanced my dice to only yeah. roll ones. <laughs> <laughs> as, as a compromise. Well, like you it. were wrong. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um. <laughs> Said his heart was pounding for that roll. Mm. I love how a candle's one of them is on and it's flashed <laughs> I think the battery is right now. I need the battery to yeah. replace. Okay. So to that, he continues. You have no guide. You will be lost within the webs and destruction here, looking for your goal, Thorin. Or starve first. Can I send you a follow-up question yep. via text? So... <laughs> Your choices are these. Swear your allegiance. And that she will reward you greatly. Help the Lord of Blades at the last cliff. The endless chasm towards Kaiba. Unleash her. If you want to answer out loud, you can. He's like, that's a, that's a that's a difficult one. Um, can I roll something for it or no? If that helps. the first question, the first question does appear to be correct. The second one, you don't know. Okay. Um, can I reply? Where are you guys? No, I'm done. Do you have no more love in this land of Corvair? It is why I love it so that this seems to be the only way to not have her destroy all. Are you also such a fool? His eyes twitch. Beep, beep, beep. Do you not remember what happened to New Siri? New Sire? She will cleanse it. It's already been cleansed once, and look what happened to it. She knows not of the circumstances. And you release one devil against another. She is not like Fuzzle Blue. It has a long history of lies and deceit. How long have you been a mage of the Twelfth, or what have you lost so much? that you would go to such lengths to be rid of everything in Corvair. Amara's monastery. Thorum's church. 
Gunner's school possible <laughs> livelihood is all going to be lost. Everything that we don't know or we'd learn would never be found if we followed you. She will make it right. She will make it true. And what guarantee? We've not heard from her. We only have your word. And by your tongue, you've already lied to us multiple times. I have not. Everything I have done up until this point has been to try and convince you that this is the only way. The only possible outcome. Fraser Blue will make short work of Valinor, of Breland, places you love, to be like the Mornland is now, if he is not stopped. And the only power to stop him is her. I'm going to speak in his mind. And I'm just going to say, all I'm going to say is, I trusted you. In your mind, he replies, and trust me again, help. Out loud, I will say, no. I convinced every single person here, and this is all out loud now, that we should trust you that we should follow you and that you're a good person and you lied to us this entire time we fought for good and you're fighting for evil how can you look at yourself how do you think that's okay not even just not even just overall but to us you dragged us into this we have way bigger purposes than your needs, and we still helped you. We saved the king's life. You wouldn't have done that without us. We saved everyone. And you want to destroy that. You'd be dead without us. You'd be dead without me. They would have killed you. In your mind again, he says, you would not have touched me. Please. This will either end with your kneel or with your deaths help apparently we're gonna die guys is that is that out loud or is it in her in her mind it's in her mind okay who wants us to kneel or die just so you guys know because you don't have the balls to say it out loud if it's a choice I think between starving in these caves or bending the knee to you we'll choose to starve besides there's plenty to eat try some of this I'm gonna throw that ball. <laughs> I'm gonna try and throw that ball of dead web and flesh and bugs at him. How does he look when it hits him? If it, it hits. <laughs> um, it, 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 what, are you aiming for anywhere in particular? I just wanted to land on or around him so you can see it. Yeah, sure. It heads straight towards his face and it, and it ricochets off the side of his um, cheek. And almost sticks, but then sort of flops off onto the onto his foot and then onto the ground again. And he he does not take any notice of it at all, but he does look at you as you throw it. No reaction whatsoever. I'm still going to have a crack and cast banishment, hoping that that glob of dead bugs and shit was an item distasteful to the target. <laughs> and if okay. you should. Well, this charisma saving throw of 15 will be banished to another plane for one minute. Okay. Unless he's not from this plane. Mm. In which case, we go case. back to his native plane. Charisma saving throw mm -hmm. of 15. 15? <laughs> 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 we don't know. 
<laughs> With a plus 14. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a 17 in total. Oh. He... will help. <laughs> <laughs> we all just like slowly move away from the room. <laughs> I say, you notice I say during this conversation goes from your normal traveler and her teeth start to bear and become at sharp. No, no. At, at, at um, <laughs> so Pariso. Betrayed twice. Her fingers ex elongate and and the fingernails become sharp and she sort of moves them around at her sides like this Hot. and you can see her form just stiffen Do and dance just proud. be be at the ready <laughs> just to As give you some context there that was pretty much the best shot i had <laughs> so <laughs> we're free Step in, guys. You saying that out loud? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's well, I guess what's Frieza's action or well, reaction? Oh, hold on. We need. Sorry, we no, need please. to pause for one second because someone just downloaded Twitch just to watch us, uh, and we shouted them out earlier. <laughs> it's Odin Johansson, hey, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Um, <laughs> yes, Odin. If you haven't caught the start of the stream. We did spend a lot of time talking about how wonderful your musical. <laughs> this is a kid-friendly stream. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it is. Because <laughs> I haven't flagged this out. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you for your music. Um, everyone, please go and follow Odin Johansson on Instagram. Um, follow Like Thieves as well. And um, thank you again. If you would like to hear the music play, you can stick it out to the break. <laughs> It's it's re rehearable in the break. And yeah. If you rewatch the stream. <laughs> hey, Odin. Welcome. Good to see you, dude. Cool. As with that, with what you've said, he looks around to the rest of you and says, "Is this the decision of Thorum's five, or is this simply the decision of Thorum?" It's just the five now. <laughs> <laughs> How low you have come. How dim is this cabin? <laughs> How dim is the cabin? Cabin? Pretty How dim. How shadowy is it? <laughs> shadowy apart from maybe fifteen feet on each side of the river. What about behind him? Behind him? Starting to glow a little bit. It's a lot. It's it's a, it's a lot more shadowy. No, it's it's probably shadowy enough behind him. Actually, he's still a little bit away from the river. Okay, good to know. River of lava. Is this the decision of the five, or just Thor? What do you guys think? You must convince us more than what you already have. Should I show you visions of her coming and her healing of the world? What, like those fake prophecies? Things you do not understand. You did not study them. Are you the one who poisoned King Bronn now? Oh. With him aside, the decisions that Breland had made, their armies at pursuing the war forged my goals would have achieved, been achieved sooner how have you lost so much hope in Corvair it seems we are in different perceptions Rook why um, did you help us kill by sailor I thought in the moment I could acquire those prophecies. So she was your equal? She was nothing. I don't know, at least she was honest. There's much to be said. I knew, by the way, I knew you were hiding something. And I still chose to believe that you're a good person. 
So, you suck. Just so you know. Yes, I always thought you sucked. I think Jonah thinks you suck too. (laughs) So we're just done then. We are at an impasse. I'll kneel. (gasps) You have a wise one with you. What the fuck are you doing, Gunnar? One that sees the futility here. When Tiamat is released and your companions lose their way, you will be rewarded. But prove it more. Come with me. Where? To greet her. To release her. Where to see she? her in all her might. Where is she? In the second layer of hell, but for where? not much where? longer. Where are we? You are where you are asked to go. Krona Peak. What was left of it now that the drow have taken siege in one of the many halls of the capital here. One of the many silent halls. Um, I'm going to say in Amari's head. Um, he has the upper hand and we need to we need to wait this out. Say so back in your mind. What if I hit him with my staff and blind him? That won't help us. What you say? That won't help us. I'm gonna say back in Gunner's head. I'm gonna say, what if I get us out of here with that funky little device? That won't stop him. Never He's still him. going to release Tiamat. We need to stop him. So let's just kill him now. We don't have the upper hand. Yeah, but there's four of us. There's five of us. I just shake my head. What like say this. you? Buckley's? <laughs> 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 You're a dick. I'm gonna take a step back from Ghana, just back towards the uh, uh, wall of the cave. Is there a part that's particularly dense with hanging corpses? There is a section that, that is probably <laughs> about 15 <coughs> feet high yeah. that has about seven. Yeah, I'm going back towards that part, just looking sorrowful and just sad. Just sad at you. Sad at Make you. a deception check for me. I'm sad. <laughs> if, if, if so then if, if that's a uh, real no, emotion no, no. oh okay you're putting it on I'm doing other stuff <laughs> <laughs> you're sneaky sneaking I'm so tempted that's a seven a seven? yeah go <laughs> 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 uh. you you sly dog <laughs> You're looking to escape Thorum, or are you just in your own head again? Everyone mourns in their own way, Farizo. Mourns what? There is no mourning to be had here. I'm going to stop and go. Ah, you caught me. It was pretty dumb to think that I could sneak out. There is no path (laughs) away from here. Sick. Did I stop right by those corpses? (laughs) Yeah. Perfect. Your what decision, are you doing? <laughs> your decision have some lunch. is to be made now. Is Gunnar the only one? Can I speak in Thorum's head really quick? I guess because it's instantaneous. And I'm going to say to him, Hey man, 
should I shadow step behind this motherfucker and beat him with my quarter stuff and hopefully blind him? Can I respond? Yes. I'll say, I know he just betrayed us, but you should probably attack Frizo. What? <laughs> oh, you meant him. She's talking about Frizo, not me. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Smack him up. Um. Uh, I'm going to say back in your head, I need you to get rid of that wand. While all this is going on... I'll say... Okay, and... Uh, apologies for the dark magic. Huh? Uh, Just during this lengthy conversation... Should I, sh sh should I wait? Can I should use I locate wait object to make sure Frizo is actually where Frizo is? Are you focusing on him as a person or something he's wearing? Or uh, something he's wearing. Yeah. As you... Close your eyes and what are you focusing on specifically? I believe it's the. Oh, God. I know we've got a description of this in a previous one. Ex Calamity. <laughs> hey, Ex Calamity. Two things. Um, he has purple robes, yeah? Mm -hmm. With um, embroidery around mm -hmm. the cuffs. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of times that I've seen him would have had a good idea of what that yeah. looks like. Yep. Um, he wears them often. Yeah. So that? Let's do that. As you close your eyes and reach out your senses. And then open them up again. A slight glow. And, a, and a, an awareness. A true awareness of yours. Mm. Confirms that this is in fact the cloak that Farisa wears. Okay. Well... Rizzo, it's really disappointing. I have done nothing that an end goal of peace and healing would not accomplish. And how many will die with your peace and healing? None. No more. Mornland will become prosperous again. She will heal that place. She has the power to. That is all that the Twelve have been dreaming of. And we have tried, Rook. So I went to Tiamat to gain knowledge from her to see if I can take some, take some ideas. I'm gonna cast Pass without a trace on all of us while this is going. Is it somatic? I don't, no, no, it's Shadow Arts. Um, so it's not verbal somatic <coughs> and it doesn't need components. Good to know. If anything happens, are we all within 15 feet of each other? You are. Okay, so pass with the trace is 5 to... 10. It's, uh, it's any creature within 30 feet of me of my choice. But 10, 10 plus 10. Plus 10 on top of your stealth bonus. Stealth, so add a plus 5 to that as well. What's that for? Because of my amulet. So it's a plus yeah, 15. Your amulet. Yeah, my amulet. Just the I would like yeah. to also then like sneaky sneak back Salty. into the shadows. All right, um, make a stealth check. Um. Natural twenty uh. plus fifteen plus seven. So <laughs> that is 40. a thirty-five. Ooh. That's a thirty-seven. That's forty-two. She turns invisible. <laughs> she is That is a 42. <laughs> One moment you all see Amara and the next you do not. Silence. And at this point, Riso, almost you're aware he's recounting you. I will also then shadow step, appear behind him, and I'm going to belt that motherfucker. Actually, no. I'm going to steal the wand. Let's okay. Get that wand out of his hand. Okay. As she does that, can I... I guess if it was considered a held action, shoot my bow at him. Okay. So this is what happens. Amara disappears, reappearing where specifically? Behind him. Behind him, and then you reach around and grab. I want to yank that thing. Okay. Now I have to ask if I was attacking him, I would be getting advantage. You will. He'll get disadvantage on um, on resisting because he's not aware that it would happen. 
resistant. So, uh, as you do, you all watch as Amara simply appears suddenly to the rear of Fariso. For flavor, I'm going to be like, to everyone <laughs> as I do it. And uh, with a long arm, you, you precisely, with one um, swipe, grab that one and try and pull it out of his hand. As you do that, Rook, you see Amara suddenly appear and that's your cue. So you make a, an attack roll for me and then you make a... Um, it's, it's actually a, like a strength check because it's like a grapple. So strength check with advantage against his. Twenty total. Twenty total. All right. You feel this warm and cold magical item in your grasp as it as his grasp lets go. I throw it immediately towards the lava. <laughs> okay. Now you have to make me a um, just an attack roll for me. Just a just a normal attack roll. Okay. Just just as as an aiming tool. Like so, an unarmed strike. Yeah. Hell yeah. Does she get advantage because I hit him? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I hit him? 21. <laughs> yeah, that... that it, I, yeah, go on, go on. Can I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> can I try and catch it with my mage? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, make an opposing... Make it just a dexterity check for me. You fucking bastard. <laughs> dexterity? With if my it, dexterity or my... my spell casting? I'm spell killing, casting. I'm killing Gunner next. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you get 21 i can't spell gunner <laughs> would you like to do you have it <laughs> no i can't tell i'm doing it <laughs> yes um is this my spell modifier or my spell attack spell modifier spell modifier um 23 the one sails over Fariso, and you all watch it start to head in that direction, but then it stops in midair. And bring it back to me. And in an instant, it flies back into your grasp, and you feel that same warmth and cool, just item of power in your hand. You in your see hand. a glare like no other. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm going to point at Fariso and unleash whatever I can out of it. Okay, and what was your attack roll, Rook? Uh, 23. You hit, roll for damage. Um, in the meantime, are you yes. doing anything at the moment, Thorum? Um, I'll get, let you do one thing. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cast... Let's see. The Bar Bless on... These three. The Sounds good. Yeah, so any attack these or three saving throw, <laughs> uh, you just throw a d4 on top of that. Alrighty. So, what'd you get? <laughs> Aeon Craft uh, was like, I swear I haven't weighted the dice. Because <laughs> I've only rolled good tonight. 19. 19 points of damage. Yeah. It's really light. Okay. <laughs> How much? 19. 19. Uh, damage. Damage. That's damage. Point blank range. You sl- you, you, it's just in the sternum. And you see the arrow go halfway through his stomach and just sit there as around that wound you can see through the robes blood starts to emerge and he holds one hand on the arrow Boom. and you all saz just resubscribed thank you saz the me thank you saz thank you very much saz much appreciated <laughs> um and as he points the wand oh you have you point the wand at fariso Nothing. Make an arcana check. Nineteen. With the lack of power that seems to be emanating, something you'd expect you feel as though this wand needs to be attuned okay. to a point in order to use which can take several hours okay um is anyone else doing anything 
because I'll take another action if that's okay. <laughs> if it doesn't work. Depends on what you're doing. I'm going to cast a spell. For the purpose of this and, and the quickness, it's <laughs> a little bit... It's a little bit too... Um, uh, I, I guess he would, would react first. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Uh, as he... <laughs> As he sees or, or feels the wand no longer on him and then on you, he sort of shakes his head a little bit and holds his hand to his temple, lowering the hand where his wand was on, was held, holding, and he looks at you all and says, and you call me the liar, looking directly at you. And he says... Now, before you go any further, Amara is right behind him. So yep. he doesn't know that I was aiming at him. I could be aiming at her. You grasp the wand. You're grasping the wand at the moment. That's yeah. what he's sort of referring to at the moment. Yeah, but I stopped it from being destroyed and I pointed it directly in that direction where him and Amara. That's right. I guess it's just his, his perception okay. of, of what's happening. And with that, he says, it is clear you do need a demonstration of Tiamat's power. You will see that she, she will gift, the, uh, gift you the same that she has gifted me. And then his skin darkens. And you can see that his form starts to bulge out. Scales start to appear on his blackened arms. Is this a spell? His robe, you're not sure, <laughs> his robe simply falls away and tears as behind him a long, dark, scaled tail appears. His arms elongate and you can see large, black, scaled wings. His head is the last to form as he rises and becomes larger and larger and his face turns into an enormous snout of black and green and his horns out from his head are two massive long um, swirly sharp pieces of bone as in the stead of Fariso the Archmage rising above you and just <laughs> flapping wings of power and wind buffeting you a large no a huge black <laughs> dragon so this is where it stands I reply back to him excellent you've given me another dragon trophy your head to add to Barclay's list. Everyone roll initiative, please. <laughs> Am I able to drink a potion before this happens? As he, he takes he takes probably about a round to uh, to transform, so yeah I can I can let you do that. I'm gonna drink a pyre of potion uh, fire of fire, fire, fire uh, the potion of fire resistance. Um, that will last for an hour. Can I also, in that round, just attune to that magic <laughs> light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Just so you know. Uh, I'm now resistant to fire for the next hour. BRB, I'm going to grab a drink for this. Do you want to talk? Can you wait till the break? <laughs> no. Alright. Yes, Nothing. I do want to talk. Didn't say oh. anything. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Aeoncraft, it had to happen. What? My first not amazing roll. It's still pretty good. Maybe it's remote control. Saz, what, this is what you missed on Glee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Saz just said that she arrived at the... The, the best part. The best part. Mm. Fariza's a the bad guy. Part. We don't like him anymore. He's real bad. <laughs> That's it. Oh, wow. Ah, let me just quickly fix this and my own camera. Are you wanting me to control the players? Or? Uh, no, no, I can do that. That's fine. I will just bring myself back up again and then we will be good to go. There we go. Whoa, my two. 
I wrote so I wrote three words in my journal, and it is that bastard Farizo. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. Oh, oh, giant, giant Michele. <laughs> Am I? Am I giant? Oh yeah. yeah. No, 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 we longer, no longer. we see it delayed. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, if you could press that thing, but that... oh no, you did. I wow. did. I, I didn't. I didn't Holy forget about crap. it this time. So you would be probably there. Gunna, you're probably there. Thorum, you're right back in. Oh no, the wall. I'm very close. Um. Right. I am very, very close. Yes, very close. So. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. One more thing, and I just forgot. But I will just put this in now, just while we're waiting for Rook. Has everyone rolled initiative? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good. Just waiting on me. Oh, gee. Two seconds. Where is my lovely old oh, Actually, this is the first time I've fought like a proper dragon. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we fought the worm dragon at the start of this campaign. Yeah. But yeah, this is the first dragon in D and D that I think I might be fighting. Yeah. No, you, I mean you versed a smaller version of this green one here. Yeah, yeah but that was a worm. Dragon brown. That was the that was the wormy one. It's a yeah. wormy had, boy. Had worms. Had worms. Goodness gracious. Copy to desktop and then again just while we're waiting. Just, just while we're waiting. A thousand followers, guys. Pretty That's good. great. Um when John and um Saz just resubscribed, it said that they subscribed to us for the fifth month in a row. Um which like five months, a thousand followers. Not yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We've only been streaming for five months. Yeah. Right. Pretty damn crazy. Isn't yeah. It? We've only been on Twitter five months. Oh, um, no, I'm good. Thank you. Alright, this looks pretty good to me. Um, in terms of that, okay. Hellion Flyer said Preston doesn't remember our dragon, does he? Haha. Uh -huh. Did you. Ah yes, we played the campaign Who's Hellion Flyer? Ty. Get fucked! Hellion Flyer is Ty? Yeah, our dragon. Oh! I didn't fight that dragon. No. Hellion? Ty, man. I wasn't there for that. Ty! Hopefully you're enjoying this. I missed out on the I miss Ty fight. so much! <laughs> Holy uh, fuck! Sorry to drop real, real names, <laughs> but uh, hey man. Um, Um, wow. Hey, happy for feedback uh, with my DMing, uh, or anyone who wants to give me feedback. Uh, just um, drop it in chat. Uh, but yeah, um, roll this to for me, Rook, uh, and we will get into this. Ah, that was an 18. 18, alright, so bear with me while I just um, bring up some stuff. Cool. Alrighty. It's gonna be a long one. No. So, uh, initiative rolls 25 to 20, 20 to 15. 18. Anyone else? 20 to 15? Oh, sorry. I was, I was looking at the mouse. Um, oh, uh, 14. So, 15 to 10, 14. 12. 12. Also, sorry, we've got one more comment. I just have to highlight, or or two. One says, one's from Distron. I think I missed a recap, but this thing you've been to talking to doesn't sound very good. You're right. Um, also, Charlie Mundy just followed you guys from the UK. Love what you're doing. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Cool. Charlie, is it? Charlie. Charlie thank you. Thank you. Cool as so hell. Awesome. Thank you. Um, enjoy. Uh, I actually saw that follow come through on the Twitter, and I was like. Oh, nice. Cool. Thank you so much. Um, glad you're enjoying it. What did you get, um, Thorum? It's Monday there, but it's oh, Tuesday. Four? <laughs> Shut up. Just yeah. follow back. I'm really bad at this follow back thing. Uh, 
we Another new follower here <coughs> from Spain. Really? Hello, Evan Future. Hola. Hello, Dungeon Mastery on, on Twitter. All right. Thank you so, so much. So many cool That's people. So cool. We take all a three week world. break and we go all around yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> people are catching up over the three weeks. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry you have to listen to my monotone voice every week. <laughs> That's why I come in. Aussie voice. Oh, that's one, two, three, four. Uh, Odin just uh, redeemed a posture check. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Odin. Yes, we have a posture, posture that up. So, <laughs> first thing is... Oh, wow, sorry. Uh, first thing is... Rook, you're up. What do you want to do? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to shoot the baddie twice. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm probably going to move. Sure. Uh, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Yes. So, uh, oof, 19? 19 just hits. Good. Oh. Um, <clears throat> good, good to know that. Good to know that. Woo! So, this is going to be a long fight. Or really short. Sure. I might, I might need your ruling on this. 1d4. What do you it's mean? Blessed. It's a blessed. To every attack roll? Every attack roll. Add a d4. Oh. It's a concentration. Oh, add a d4? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Sorry. Not to the damage, to the roll. Concentration? To the roll. Yes. Yeah, cool. So... That's right, we're doing a clarifying. Um, you might want me to read it. I have a particular special arrow that I shot at the, the dragon this time. Is that right? You did. I heard you notch that in the last session. The, the first one I, I used was a normal arrow because I didn't know if it was there. But you got one ready. I did. Cool. Is that okay? Absolutely. Or do you want me to announce it? Oh, I see. That, I feel like that's... Oh, look, if, if you prefer not to announce it, then that's okay. That's okay. Um, but if you want to keep it to yourself. Is this the it won't make any difference one way or the other in terms of the damage. Yeah, okay. So this... Oh, well, this arrow is the one that had the... Okay. Well, it's an oil of slaying that I got from the drow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We use that on the previous dragon. Uh, on the previous um, dragon. Yeah, because you know we kill dragons. <laughs> just so Frieza knows that. Um, I actually not quite sure what it does. So, do you want me to roll the the normal damage, or am I plussing anything? Uh, Unless I learnt it from the drow. You might need to text me to clarify then which one that was, sorry. It was the oil that I coated the arrow in, in a previous session, from the drow that I picked up. The I picked up the romance potion, I picked up a, a particular poison mm -hmm. um, that I dipped my arrow in, mm -hmm. in a previous session, I've been keeping it. And you've got that, the stats for that? The... The statistics for that poison? I actually never got what it did. Okay. Um, it simply did plus 2d6 poison damage. Okay, cool. So I add 2d6? Basically. Okay, no, well, I'm cool with that. Okay. Right. Uh, 12. Uh, 8,000 points of damage. 87 million points. Um, I will just draw really quick attention. There's just some talk in the chat about our mic working really well and yeah. the other two being a little quiet. Oh, thank you. No, I much appreciate it. I'll, um, I'll up that a little bit for you. Thank you very much, Peter. For uh, 31 points of damage. Oh, that's why. Yeah, okay. Did you have the mics turned off? No, not turned off, but um, I'll just, I'll just read you. I'll just be a second. Um, on the overlay, I think this thrown, I think it's you guys that are coming through a bit. No, no, if you read the whole thread. There's a whole thread about us two are fine. You'll look quiet. Okay. Sorry, that was me while I just fixed this up. I thought the same thing and then I read the next message.
Let's have a squiz here. <laughs> oh, um, so Michele is actually whispering at the moment, so I will take this opportunity. We have shouted out um, Odin, because he's in the chat now. Let me um, shout out our logo maker again, um, Elliot Esdale. Thank you. You're a legend. Um, you can now check out the logo on the Twitter, um, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Um, also, what else can I shout out? Um, thousand followers means we're going to give some stuff away. Okay, yes, yeah, Help. Um, <laughs> we have Meeples and Dragons in the chat right now. Meeples and Dragons. Everybody. Um, Apparently none of us can be heard now. Okay. And that could be delayed. I don't know. Let's see. No. Um, what I might do... <laughs> we have meat. No, no, no. I can hear me. That was me just turning the volume up. Um, anyway. No, no. That's because um, I've just changed us back to um, a different, uh, different overlay. So I think there's an overlay issue. Uh, apologies, but we haven't we haven't started the uh, uh, the battle yet technically. Um, do, but do we want to take it? Take it oh, now? Yeah. No wait, yeah. it says Michele is perfect. We're back. It, we I think we are back because of the it's overlay. The overlay. When I change the overlay, the um, um, the right. microphones uh, change with it. So I think oh. it's it's an overlay issue. So yeah, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Yeah. Let's we probably take... won't get a break for a really long time. If <laughs> we're not going to be really giving you a break. Hey, yeah. Yeah. let's yeah. take a break and I'll finish my silent shout out that I was doing because um, apparently I was talking in silence. Um, so I will just quickly say that Meeples and Dragons are in the chat. We have two people here wearing Meeples and Dragons shirts. Three people here wearing yeah. Meeples and Dragons shirts. I did not get the memo and neither did Michele. Um, <laughs> but he does have a DM. But speaking of Meeples and Dragons, we're about to uh, buy some stuff from them to give to you guys. Um, little Dragon Baggin boys that I've been looking at for so long. To who guys? They are bloody cute. Um, and also one of the dice boxes, the Looking Glass dice, dice boxes that you can etch any class of your choice onto. So if you would like a chance to win these, then maybe you should like follow us. The instructions will be on uh, on Twitter as uh, as to how to get your hands on these. Also, before we leave, we must hydrate. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Hydrate. <laughs> I'll get some water. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Sorry about this. Um, we'll we'll start the battle uh, uh, when we when we come back. It's about eight twelve now. I might make it. Um, I might make it about. Oh, let's go like 25 past by the time we get back. Hopefully by then we'll have everything sorted. Um, all right, we'll see you all soon. Thank you so much, guys.
I'll even bring the huntsman into it. Image of a creature. Hello again. I'm going to pass you over to Amara while I just fix some things. Hello. Hello, chat. How are you today? My name's Amara. Um, let me just waste your time. Oh, no, I'm joking. Um, number one, thank you for tuning in. Um, Rook will be back in a moment. He's just killing a huntsman that I screamed very loudly at. Um, number two, trying to figure out these sound issues. What we're going to do in the meantime, if it's cool and chill with you guys, is um, we are going to have a smaller map this week and hopefully have a solution for you next week. Um, also... Interject for two yes. seconds so you can test my mic audio. Thank Is you. Is that all good? Sorry. Yeah, likewise. How dare you? Sucks. Now, speaking of Thulrum interrupting things, um, he interrupted our lives last week <laughs> to tell us some huge... Important news. Is this, is this okay? Yes, it's absolutely. I okay. already of ran this oh, by him. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Thulrum has um, has Eaten been a seeing a wonderful woman by the name of Georgie for a very long time, yes. and poor girl. Um, <laughs> and last was it last week or the week before? Uh, week before. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago, Thulrum asked her to marry him, and yeah. she said yes. How engaged? Amazing. <laughs> Yay! Engaged! Thank you. This That's really fun. cool. Yeah. Exactly. Very, um, very lucky that she'll have me. Which yeah. Is awesome. Beautiful. Yes. So, venue picked out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's all early stage. It's early stage. Yeah. yeah, lovely. All of that is up to Georgie. <laughs> yeah, all of that is all up to Georgie. Perfect. Do I get a little up because I killed the spider? We're live. Did you so kill it? Yeah. You killed the spider. I, I told him to. In, in ca no, in character, guys, not not in real life. But they're in a spidery place. Um, no, I don't like, believe it. I this was the driver. <laughs> no, this is definitely real life, and it's a definitely very real huntsman that I did not want to sleep in this house with. Such an Australian thing that happened during the stream. Just oh, so, so very Australian for the. The best part about that spider. was you guys had no context spider. until you heard my fucking scream from oh, the other room. Spider. It wasn't really a scream. More like. Ah. Yeah, that's exactly what that sounded like. So, um, do do people in the chat reckon that they can hear us again? It says yours is a little funky. Mine. What's funky mean? But it could just be because you've been speaking quieter than what you usually do. Well, probably. I've just put it closer to me um, as well. Properties. No, not properties. Uh, filters. I'll just make the gain a little bit more for everybody. I'll see how that goes. Um, it's loud. It's loud. Okay, shotgun, filters. One day we will have sound that works. Yeah, we're one day audio One day will with be your support, we'll have a studio. Uh, oh. <laughs> Dream big, guys. One day Dream big. with your support, we'll have a studio that's not just for us. It's it's for all of you. Yeah. Ooh, with the bar, oh, beautiful. In, in, in if you want the studio dream to be a reality, yeah. um, please feel free to just subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll use that to entertain you all the more. Yeah, and check um, out the YouTube. And check out the YouTube. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, I, we had an earlier break. I think that's for a good reason. Because if, um, if, if Michele does stay too loud, please, uh, yeah. could you at me, Emily X Grace, so that I can tell him, please? Yeah, please do. No problem at all. I'm still getting that you're too She's loud. ready to die. Okay. In game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've, just, I've just lowered it again. I've just lowered it a little bit more, a fair bit more. Um, so you let me know if that's uh, if that's good. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, cool. Okay. So. Your attack roll, Rook. It is fine now. It's good? Excellent. Thank you so oh, much, DM's chat. DM's got to do a little dance before he gets back oh, in. Oh, okay. Ah. Who, who redeemed that? Ah, Voikiban. Voikiban. Hey. <laughs> uh, let's go. Um, let's go. Uh, do the one that you were doing before the stream. Oh, what Whatever was that? that? Oh, was that a very was. necky... Uh, oh, the necky one, Eminem. Oh, a little bit of necky. Ooh, and the shoulders. Shut up. Yeah, oh, I like yeah. it when you show up at a neck. Oh. <laughs> I'm, oh, yeah. I'm getting, I'm uh, getting jewel vibes. Uh, jewel. Yeah. yeah. When she went. Yes, like, I do. Yes, I do. Do do. Not country. Return of the kind of like Taylor. Oh my God, return <laughs> <of> the <laughs> man oh, once is, again. This this okay, let's get back to the game. This okay, let's go. The gift that keeps on giving. There you go. There you go, Rook. Thanks for redeeming. Um, so Rook, you were in the middle of. 
uh, attacking pew, pew. the dragon. Yes, and um, and you made your attack roll and it was successful. Yes. What was one. the damage on that? Thirty one damage. Thirty one points of. Woo! Damage. And I have my second one. And your second one Which was yes. a. Uh, twenty. It was over twenty. Twenty. Yep, that hit. Yep. <coughs> uh, now this doesn't have the poison, so. Sure. Look how big it is. <laughs> oh my god! I thought that was just a rock. <laughs> and that one's a bit boring. So add seven to that. Okay. Two ones and a five. Um, can I ask, do I know about the point? Does it have any effects on it? As far as you can tell, it did affect it. You see above you as the arrow strikes mm. that there is some unusual purple and pink veined color around that wound so you reckon it did take effect do i know if it does anything to it over a long period or you're not sure okay cool uh all right so movement yes go for it um so i'm just going to zoom in here um i would like to move 30 feet uh towards the um the right rock that's um, kind of out of view of the uh, map. So there's the one that's in front of us that's above the black dragon. Mm -hmm. And then there's the one that's to the right hand side. About there? Uh, I'm, oh, my, um, my view's a bit. I think oh, I'm right. lagging. Sorry. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's Twitch. Twitch. You're, uh, where are you? Over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that so I'm right? still, I guess, line in sight, but yep. kind of obscured as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to crouching, I guess, try and take as much cover as I can in an awkward spot. You 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 lean down, notch another arrow, and uh, are aiming it towards the dragon. Yep. Okay. Is that all you're doing? Uh. Yes. Oh, hang on. How how far do I need to be within past the chase? Thirty feet. How far am I? Uh, I should be within 30 feet, okay. 30 foot, 40. Ah, oh, so drop me down to... Yeah, 40. Drop me down two spaces. Two spaces? Sure. So I'm still within the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, next up is the dragon. Oh As you see it flap its wings it more noise. and more, <laughs> it rises up into the the cavern and I'm just take my last sip of wine before I die. As it rises further and further, um, it will do two things. Um, let's have a look. I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. As its sheer presence, you feel yourself start to simply stop and take more of a, a flight or fight situation. I'm so glad I get advantage on wisdom saving throws. Uh, everybody added, remember add a d4. Oh, we get to add a d4, yes. I'm going to add a d4 to that. Oh, I'm blessed. Except your boy. It's one, yeah. yeah. I got <laughs> a 20. 20. Okay, you're not frightened by this creature. Amara? 21. Same. Uh, a little bit of promo here. Got a Kraken. Oh, plus a one with the uh, so twenty one. All right, twenty one. So, so three out of four so far, not affected um, by the frightening presence of 20, this dragon. Twenty two. I'm unaffected. Um, I have a, an advantage, but I can't tell if. Hang on, if it's because of because of um, magic or. O just while you're checking, yep. Osei is, however, simply still. She looks up at this creature and you can s physically see her cower. She does get past without a trace, by the way. Yep, and she is considered frightened. She's not able to move towards this creature. But this creature is rising further and further up into the air anyway. Well, can I ask a question while he looks as well? Sure. Well, not above recently. Above the dragon, mm. are we looking at more webs and... I thought I dropped on the ground. It's empty space for a good 
maybe 60 to 70 feet before you see a ceiling and that ceiling does still have plenty of web and bodies in the distance what did you get gunner um you're using i got it because i roll with advantage Mm. i I rolled um just on the dice without adding any modifier a 10 and a one oh no yeah so it's a 14 you fail the roll. You are considered frightened by the creature. Cool. So just k- keep that in mind. Kill. Kill. Can't get um, closer to it, correct? Correct. Have disadvantage on attack. Correct. Anything else? No. Nope. Actually, I'll look up the. I'll look it up. Yeah, go for it. Um, you don't have to tell me. So, mm-hmm. five feet wide. Ability checks and attack Ooh, rolls. Ooh, okay. As it rises, it is going to move. Let's see. Mm. It's going to move down to here, but up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh. Why are you counting squares for, Michele? So Out coming out of the <laughs> dragon. Why would you be doing that? It's suddenly a brand new ability, which I've created. No, it's never been used before. Never. It almost as though the long neck retracts for a moment you see all of a sudden this spew of dark black and green and purple liquid just come forth from its mouth in the direction of Amara and Rook. I need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. I am craft, please. That's me. Oh, do we we, do we add the D four for bless Bless? for Dex for for, it's a saving throw. Yeah. Oh, I need it. (laughs) Oh, Uh, thank you, D four. It's a shaving throw. Seventeen. Twenty. Okay. Um, Not so safe. Amara fails the saving throw. At 17. And Oosh. Rook saves it. So, bear with me while I roll some dice. Oh no. Yeah, I failed at a 17. It's massive. Yeah, okay. That's average. Amara, you take 54 points of acid damage. Is this poison? Acid. It's acid damage. As (laughs) you are absolutely covered with this ick, gooey, almost vomit. But as as it pours all over you like a waterfall, it starts to burn. And you you see and feel your flesh start to just be removed from your arms and your legs as you just almost go into shock as you shake uncontrollably from the pain your clothing is being just wrought away from you and you and you all look over and you see amara just start to smoke um rook you take half of that damage so you take 27 points jeez of Acid damage, as you too are affected greatly, but that is. I am not looking good. That is. <laughs> just in case, I, hold on. Just in case anyone needed to hear that clearer. <laughs> I am not looking good. <laughs> I get. I look. Hey, Thorum. I look bad. She looks like her skin is melting. I am. Her bones. I am not good. <laughs> I would say I have. One seventh of my health left. <laughs> now, the dragon, oh the dragon has risen eighty feet into the air. Good. Just it so you know, just... our camera has frozen. Oh, On me going. Ah, oh, yes, I do see that. I'll just uh, refresh. Refresh that for you. <laughs> I'm so glad no one had to see me have that fit of rage. <laughs> Man, my um, my amazing. Uh, Maybe we're having internet problems. Rook, fix it. Should I stop the <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 
my amazing uh, uh, program today. It's going super well. Sorry for the uh, for the tech issues. Just uh, I'll, if you bear with me for a moment, I'll right, see if I can uh, black square better. bring this back for mm -hmm. them. Oh, good old black square. Yeah. A video. Yeah. Of that. Don't worry, X no calamity. I feel like the fit of rage was better in audio than it was in video. <laughs> video. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I don't see an, even an option to include you. <laughs> Two oh, seconds. there's a big old camera outage. Yeah, it's still it's still frozen. That's cool. Should I, would you like me to jump up and unplug it and replug it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Sorry, guys. Uh, um, if you want to uh, take the next action, I can. Um, yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Remove that for a second. You can all see our little uh, overlay that Amara made. Um, That's back in now. It is back in? Cool, cool. Thank you very much. Um, so, with that said, I'll just do something very quickly here. And we've got... Gunner, you're up. It's kind of going to be later. Um, okay. Well, this sucks. Um, where is mine? Oh, yeah, we're sucks. back. Guys, thanks very much for your patience. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much for that. I would like yeah. to return yeah, to the next season, no, Jitters. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I just <clears throat> want to check something. I'm pretty sure I have. It's not showing up for some reason on my spell list, but that's right. Because I got? use message every time I speak telepathically. Sure, um, but it's not showing up in my list of spells. Um, so I'm assuming it just must be a bonus action for me. I think mm -hmm. um, to do it. We can we can reassess. Just make yeah. sure. Yeah, that's fine. For now, that's fine. I'm just going to um, speak in Thorum's head and just say, I'm going to make him hot. I'm, hang on. He's he's gonna uh, he's he's not gonna be able to resist as easily. That's what I'm gonna say. Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, and I'll cast uh, Mind Sliver. Okay. On him. Okay. What's the saving throw DC? Um, seventeen. It's an intelligence saving throw, so it's probably gonna fail. Seventeen. Yeah. That is a. That's a fourteen. Yes. Okay. So you take. Uh, well, you decide what how much he takes total, but um, it's four points of psychic damage. Four points. And he t he has to subtract a D four from the next saving throw. Sounds good. Alrighty. You see only a very uh, small reaction from the the creature as it sort of jerks its head back slightly but continues to really focus with bright yellow and black eyes towards all of you anything else you're doing um i'm just trying to find the answer to that question because i don't know whether or not i had to use a bonus action to do it or not um sorry this is so much easier on my ipad um I think we'll just pass because I don't want to hold up. Are you saying is Mind Sliver a bonus action? No, no, I know that's an action. Yeah. But um, t to speak to Thorum. Oh, right. No, no, I'll, I'll allow you to use it as a bonus action. That's fine. Just for this time. Yeah, so th that was what I was trying to work out. Whether I, yeah, I, perfect. It was like a bonus action or a, a free action. Sure. It's okay. We'll keep going. Keep going? All yeah. Right. You I'll didn't want to move button. anywhere? Um, actually, yeah, I do. Um, uh, is there like a rock or something I can get behind? I mean, there's here. But he's 80 feet in the air now, isn't he's he? He's 80 feet in the air. Yeah. Um, look, I'm just going to spread out. I'm going to try and get as like far away from the others as possible. Mm -hmm. So move me in a random direction away from somebody. You want to go down here somewhere? Yeah. 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 30 feet? As far as I can go. Well, that's down there. Yeah. 
all right so gonna you get out of uh, out of its uh, <laughs> radius with everyone else at that point we are down to uh, Amara what would you like to do um scream in pain <laughs> um, and then I'm oh. going to take out a very special potion that Regav gave me that is a potion of superior healing <laughs> and I'm going to absolutely take that potion well, that's a bonus action so take that and oh, uh, can I use an action instead of a bonus action to use that yes yeah that's fine Sure. I'm happy to sacrifice my action because I would like <laughs> to use my bonus action sure. if that's okay. Sure. So let me just delete no that potion and roll uh, 8d8. D4, sorry, not 8 d 8 <laughs> 84 Yep. Uh, 8d4. And then it's plus 8, yeah, at the end? I think it oh, yeah, maybe. It's still not great. Like, no, do you know what? There's a number of 4s in there. Um... So it's 31 points of healing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> the cleric on the other side of the room. Um, and then I'm going to go... Ah! <laughs> and then I'm going to use my bonus action to... I assume since I shadow stepped here, I can shadow step away. Yep. Um, I'm going to... Clarification question. Yep. Um, the... Where Rook is, behind him, is that a raised platform? It is a raised platform, yeah. How high is that? Because that's going to determine how far I can shadow step. It's about 15 feet high. So if I was to shadow step up onto that... 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45... About 40, it's about 45 feet away from you now. So I can move 60 feet. So can I go right into that very back corner? Like, sure can. Like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Ah! Where am I? I'm off the map. <laughs> I'm gone now. I'm oh, just like literally as far away as humanly possible. Where the heck did you go? <laughs> I actually can't see you on, on this map. It's because Pass Without a Trace is so powerful. It is so powerful. <laughs> you just can't see me. It's I want to be in the lane. very back corner. Sure. Um, Once I find you, I will absolutely put you there. No, just leave me. <laughs> <laughs> just leave me, it's fine. Then no issue at all. Then you can't target me. Okay, that's fair. Alrighty, um, I'll get back to you on that. And is that all you're doing? Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool. So, ah, um, oh, there you are. Okay, let's bring this up. Let's put you in there. So, uh, next up we have Osei. Now, there it is. So, uh, there we go. Let's go like this. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Um, the damp. Got the damp. <laughs> there. Oh, that's a very, very large version of Umara right there. Love it. Cool. Uh, actually, no, don't worry about that. Control that. Right, there we go. Set. All right, I'll put you back. Um, so I'll be able to, you'll be able to move you and you're up there. Um, so Osei can't get closer to the creature. In fact, the creature went closer to her. So she's going to move back 5, 10, 15, 20 feet there. And she's going to be able to roll again on her next, uh, uh, at the end of her turn against the Frightening. Um, the Frightening. The Frightening. That's it's, like it's, a, that's it's a, a movie. movie title it's a right movie. there. Yeah. Kele is not only DMing, he's making movies. I'm a director. Mm -hmm. <laughs> director in chief. I like how dry that was. It was like, yeah, no, seriously, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, where are you? Okay. Uh, it's only 30 feet. Okay, she can't do that. That's fine. Uh, what else can she do? Not a lot. What oh, weapons does she have? No, all she can really do is at the end of her turn try and... Uh, yeah, I try and save against it because she's frightened. Okay, let's just go for that then. She rolled a. Did yeah, she get blessed as well, or just? No, just no. Right. I only three creatures. But she did roll enough to resist, so she is no longer frightened by this creature, and she cannot be now. Oh, so, did I have to roll again? Ah, uh, yeah. If you can, um, that'll be great. I also have the answer for you later. Whenever you, you want to know much. what it is. Oh, fuck. 
Not yet. exactly the same. <laughs> All right. So with that said, and Osei oh, now it's a, no action. longer frightened. Uh, next, we've got ah uh, uh, Thorum. Um, is Amara within 120 feet of me? She sure is. Okay, lovely. So I'm going to use my Channel Divinity um, and drop the. actually split the full 50 between Rook and Amara. So that should bring Amara to. Almost full health. Almost full health and bring yeah. Rook pretty much back to where he was as well. So 25 each? 25 each. That is full health. Amara goes from melting to hey Gorgeous. guys, yeah. what's up? Hey boys. <laughs> hey girls. <laughs> hey Osei. <laughs> Here we go. Sweet. So the party's back at full health. And Two times in one I day. I can only do that so many times, so dodge that fire. Um, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to cast because Channel Divinity is not a spell. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. And pop that the full. Uh, can I reach? Is the dragon within 60 feet of me? Or does it have 5, 10, 15. No, it's quite high. It's 80 feet in the air. Okay, well, I'm going to pop that 20 feet away from it. Um, or have it manifest itself 20 feet away from it. Um, and that's the end of my turn. Did you get the message? Alrighty. So you're going to just pop it right in front of you 20 feet. In the air. Yep, I've got that Stop right here, ready on. to go. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, maybe you import more stuff into. No, that. no, it's not importing. I had it ready to go already. So oh, hey, knows what's going on. A DM, who knows? I got something who, prepared. Who Five, knows? ten, fifteen, twenty. That's right there. So, magical <laughs> weapon is ready to roll. He's like, and it's not going to help you. Um, how far You're can it move? Out of curiosity. Pardon? How far can it move in a turn? It can move 30 feet in yeah, turn, cool. I have a 60 foot uh, 60 cast foot range. Cast range. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, is that all you're doing? That's all I'm doing. Back up to Rook, what, do you, what would you like to do? Uh, would I get line of sight if I pop four um, squares to the left around the corner of the um, big rock? Sort of there? Yeah. Big rock, is that what you just said? Yeah, big rock. I thought you said Yeah, big you rock. still, it's it's quite high in the sky, so you do see it. Oh, okay, right, because it's above us, yeah. Um, okay, so. What I'm going to do. Hmm, I might need, again, your information on That's this. fine. I have a particular trident mm. that I'm pretty sure does 8d12 plus 10 damage. <laughs> and I want to shoot it at that, that dragon. You're going to throw it at it? Yeah. Yeah. What? Throw the trident? Is, am I supposed to throw it or do I? I, I thought I like pointed it and. Yeah, no, I'm getting stabbed the trident, right? <laughs> Well, King well, it, it was ranged damage, I'm pretty sure. King Trident was like... Range <laughs> damage is... Um, there was two modes to it, wasn't there? Yeah, there's car mode and there's... Jet <laughs> mode. <laughs> like a transformer. One was like a knock and the other one was a... So it's uh, being able to swim underwater without needing to breathe. <laughs> that was, that was uh, part of it. Mm. Uh, let's have a look. <clears throat> Three charges. There's three charges. Three charges. And th wasn't there like a push? A push on. There was two mode. Like you could either shoot and do damage, or you could knock things back. Or oh, so the um, the the whirlwind yes, of water. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there is that mode as well. Correct, which does push back um, creatures. So is it like random or yeah is it what is it random or is it you choose within uh within a 60 foot 
uh, sort of diameter cone where to put it. Um, its height is about 100 feet in the air. So it can go up to 100 feet in the air. 50? 50? From the ground? Or? From the ground. Would it be possible so to like spin it into the lava? Spin it into the lava? Yeah. You can certainly try. You can, <laughs> see, you can see what uh, it can do. That's like a new... <laughs> Do it! You have three charges. Alright, so the first one I'll do is just a lightning attack with it. A lightning attack? Yep. yep. Okay, so um, make an attack roll for me. And just add your ranged modifier. And your plus d4. And my plus d4? Do it, yeah? Do I add that to that? Uh, 15. Oh, that's like. It's like a million. 29. 29, yeah. You see this, Just this it. all three prongs <laughs> of this trident, this bright light and, and a crack as uh, lightning in this sort of um, uh, fork just goes straight to this creature and hits straight in the chest um, and do damage. Fifty-four. Fifty-four damage. Fifty-four damage. Yeah. Okay. Is that ironically not the exact amount of damage to the just did to Mar? Get it. All right. As you all watch, the lightning from this trident that the storm giant gifted you crashes into this creature, who just and roars back. And you can see its, its wings flap, smoke is billowing out of its chest. Um, bits of scale have now completely disintegrated around that wound. And you watch as bits of flesh just drop onto the ground beneath it. And it, it's smoking. Um, you see also the ground where the, this flesh hits starts to sizzle and burn from the acid that it's itself made up of. Um, and that's your action. What else would you like to do? Oh, what? Um, <laughs> make a. Uh, I can't really do anything. Um, yeah, you can't do strike anything. bonus action. Put that on right. myself. That's it. Yep. All right, three. So Rook's just a like a seat filler, really. <laughs> <laughs> Theresa goes next. Hey, hey, um, hey. <laughs> let's have a look. Sorry, yeah. Michaela, can you please add, if, if, if it damages it the same, can you please add extra, one extra damage? Mm-hmm. Because um, I've got to add the plus one to my... Sure. Um, mine sliver. How's no it, problem at all. How's it looking, hon? That extra one really took it over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bad. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, look, it, it's, it's, it's looking hurt, but cer certainly still uh, definitely maneuverable. Still flying. Still flying. Healthy. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. Mm. Like that TV show. It's going to fly down now and simply beeline it for... Oh, actually, no. This is what it's going to do first. Um, ten feet. <laughs> Bitch. Don't you go where I think you're going to go. No, I actually can't do that. That's all good. It's going to go straight down to its closest opponent, which is there within 10 feet. It's going to fly down mm. within 10 feet of you. Um, oh no, Gunner. Gunner. Oh. <sighs> squishy, squishy wizard boy. It's going to essentially uh, use <laughs> all of its space. attacks against you. It's going to use in three quick successions. It's going to try and bite you with its massive sharp razor teeth. But he's so small. And then two claws. Are going the whole to come map around behind you is reacting to this. And <laughs> and come around and try and swipe you twice. So, um, um, the is is this considered a magical attack? It's it's a it's a creature attack, not magical. Perfect. The first um, claw. But is that claw magical? Shut up! <laughs> Don't patronize him. Um, I've not seen this before. Oh no, it's a nat 20! But this, this, I think this 20 has the moustache of the beautiful Aeoncraft. Really? It's a 
nat 20. It's a nat 20. Oh no, it's double damage. So that's <laughs> it's yours. that's one of its claws. I'll do the damage on that first. Cool. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Aeon Craft. It is, um... It's like your beard. Slashy. His, his much is much more impressive than mine. <laughs> John just wrote, gonna get swallowed. <laughs> so that's 14 points of okay. slashing damage on you. Reduce the half. The second claw attack. Yeah. Wait, was that double damage? Was that, was that with the natural 20? That's right. Okay. Yep. What the fuck? Sweet. The second claw attack is a 16 to hit. Oh, I get it. I'm the bigger threat. I understand. Shield. Okay. It scrapes against something invisible, but these sparks just fly out of this magical barrier between Gunner and the creature as the claw does nothing. Um, and then at the last. So I just want to say, as well, I don't know if you heard me. That's all right. This before, but the first attack doesn't look like it did as much damage as it should have. Yes, I did hear yeah. that. Thank you very much. Um, it then will use its last attack to make a bite attack against you. That is going to be a an 18 to hit. I've already used my... Um, Your reaction. Reaction, so I can't use it. Yep, that hits. So that hits. So that will be... Oh. Uh, let me see. I just killed X Calamity, just so you know. Ah, excellent. So this will be 14 plus 6 is 23 points. I should have used it on that one. 23 points plus an extra 3 points of acid damage. Feign surprise. As you feel this, this burning sensation in your shoulder as it clamps down hard. 23 plus 3. Um, but is that 23 piercing? Oh, uh, it is uh, piercing, yes. Okay, so Correct. that's halved as well. Yep. Whoa! So that is... What's 23 halved? You is have to round, round up round or down? Up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Round down. Round down. I you thought it was down? round up. Round up, yeah. Round down. But you would round up for us, right? Round down. <laughs> round brown. Round down. Round brown. Round down. Um, so that's 11. Two, way too <laughs> good. So this it, DM is too good to it us. It looks like there's like this... You know two lightsabers like... And they're like sparks flying out. That's what's happening when it's biting down on Gunner. It's like being pushed Gunner against. Look? Fine. <laughs> oh fuck, okay. Um, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. let, let him finish his description. <laughs> he allows everyone else to. So... As you watch, there's there are sparks everywhere, but it looks like Gunner seems to be less hurt than. Uh, well, considering what this thing is doing, it's <laughs> is this round two? Acting. This is round two. Yeah. I've had one action, <laughs> and I was running away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's its turn. Do you have any? Um, you d you're not doing anything, hey? In, in his turn that you can do? No, well, I used my reaction already. Yeah, but cool. um, just to answer the question we had before Please. it's actually not a bonus action it's a free, free action, action to good to know it. good to so know i still technically had a bonus action last time next time we'll, yeah. yeah next round you'll be able to no problem at all okay and that's all it can do that round but it's on you gunner you're next okay so you didn't use the <laughs> the saving throw so i'm going to use it um because otherwise it wears off um i'm still frightened of it so do I roll at, at the, the beginning end. or at the end, end of my turn? Okay. Um. Hey, Rook, your beard's stunning. Aeoncraft said. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I didn't roll... Hang on. I didn't add a d4 to my save, which I should have for Bless. Mm -hmm. So... 4 plus 15. 17? Was that for last round? Yeah. Yeah, that saves. Okay. That's so safe. I'm no longer frightened. Just, just bear in yes. mind for future reference. You'll have if you forget to do a roll. Future reference, this is fine. Yeah. But you'll have to probably just wait until your next roll. Okay. But go it hasn't, for it. It hasn't affected anything. That's anyway. fine. Yeah. That's all right. Um. Cast bless. <laughs> all yeah. good. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a good spell. Um, what is something that he has to save against? Well, I don't know if this is going to be a good one, but... Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't think like that. Okay, um, I'm just going to cast... Pulse Wave. So, there's going to be this immense, like, light flash and it's just going to be a, an expanding wall of force pushing the dragon off of Gunner. Um, so you have to roll a dex, no, constitution saving throw minus four. Or minus d4, sorry. What's your spell DC? 17. It rolled a natural five, plus oh. its modifier doesn't save, but it's going to choose to succeed instead. It uses one of its legendary resistances, and it will save against... Bastard! No. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> no, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So that's it fine. used one of its legendary resistances. Cool, 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 You still take half. Cool, cool, cool. That's all right. You take 11 force damage. Is it a, a, a set roll? You don't roll for it, it's just a set number. No, I just used the Oh, sure, 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 sure. So 11? It's 66. I can't be bothered with That's that right. right now. That's all right. So just the average. Cool. No, it's half of what I rolled. Yeah, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It does seem to just in its enormous form and strength, it still seems to be pushed back slightly by whatever magical effect Gunner had on it. It then simply turns its neck and comes back into the fray to, to, uh, to prepare again. Is it on the ground right now? It's on the ground at it's the moment. It's standing right now. It's hovering just above the ground. Not actually touching it at the moment. But like five feet above the ground? Ten. Or? I'm, I'm going to add an extra five damage if I can. Mm -hmm. So um, when I deal... Psychic or force damage with a wizard spell, I can add plus five to the damage against one of the spell's targets. No problem. I didn't realize that's every time I do that. So yeah, an extra five. Sounds good. It's applied. You see that with that force, some of its scales just get crunched and pushed inward and just like dust fall to the ground. That's all you're doing? Yeah. All right. Sorry, there's so many feats in no, here. No, that's okay. That. Amara, you're up. i got to do some dumb bitch shit. Good. <laughs> I'm going to use my bonus action first to um, open Chrome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can move. I can move. No, I, I've got it finally. I'm going to shadow jump to pretty much where I was before. Yep. Just gonna try and hit it with my staff. Alrighty, go for <laughs> um, it. Um, I'm gonna take two actions. Mm -hmm. First one will absolutely not hit. Okay. Second one is a natural twenty. Bam. Can it make a Constitution saving throw, please? Absolutely fine, it can. I'm also gonna roll my damage, which is double dice. That was a natural nineteen plus ten. So he fails. <laughs> I mean, it saves. It, it succeeds. But it does take 15 points of... 15. Um, and I'll, I guess I'll use this charge of Radiant, because why not? Um, so 15 of it will be bludgeoning. Yep. Bludgeoning? Yep. Bludgeoning. And three of it will be Radiant. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's my two normal actions. Yep. Oh, I used my bonus action first. You did. So she can't do anything else. All right. You all watch as Amara simply s swipes at the creature uh, and suddenly appears behind it, slamming her staff into the back um, and, the, and the base of the tail. And it does tend to s just slice through um, some scales, but... Um, otherwise, it seems to be unfazed. Can I, like, try and crouch into the to a ball and be hidden? Sure. <laughs> um, however, is that all you're doing? 
Yeah. At the end of your turn, it's going to use a legendary action to make a tail attack against you. Bastard. Outside of its normal phase, and its tail. It hates me. Just whips around and tries to strike you. Um, it's going to do to hit to see if it hits first. Is this considered a missile? <laughs> it's considered a melee attack. That's a Fuck. 24 to hit. Mm. Yeah, that Never hits. Alright. Yeah. Not only does it hit, but it hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's plain. That's plain. Stop using Aelcraft's dice. <laughs> Yeah. 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Slamming against your side. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> um, as you are almost pushed out of the way, but you, you stay standing, and um, that's your turn. I'm going to say, as that happens, and I guess it happens as I'm being swiped away, it's like, fuck you, Farizo. <laughs> If that's your real fucking name. <laughs> um, at the end of the turn, Osei is next, and she is going to go. Fuck it up, Osei. 5, 10, 15, 20. She's going to also... 25, 30, actually. Right next to you. She As she races down um, with immense speed, she just gives you a bit of a grin, and you can see these huge fangs now. I'm aroused bearing. immediately. And she... <laughs> And she just gives you a, a look of determination as she um, she actually has a bit of movement left. She's going to make an acrobatics <laughs> check and she's going to simply leap onto the back of this creature. Fuck she likes yes. riding things. Um, oh. She fails, but she just slides off, back <laughs> off, as, as the creature's <laughs> wing is basically uh, hopping on. The wing buffets her back off. She sends my arousal. She wants Stop to be close it. to me. Stop it. <laughs> no, um, slippery. Roll <laughs> this is a child, child <laughs> children friendly stream. It's not anymore, apparently. Yeah. It's not being it flagged as that on YouTube. Yeah. It never has been flagged as child friendly. Um, shush. Gunner is a child. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a you choice. Okay, so she's going to do. Um, we didn't agree to that. <laughs> two weapon attacks, uh, both with her rapier. So, two rapier attacks, and she can use Savage Attacker <laughs> for that as well. Uh, first one hits on a 26. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you went with it. And the second one. <laughs> Alright, the second one uh, misses. So, with just the one, she's going to do 1d8 plus 4. Which will be uh, 8 points of slashing damage. Okay, and um, at the moment she's simply poised to, to re-attack now that she's close. Um, now that is her turn. Thorum, you're up. Alright. Um, Thorum. How far away is my spiritual weapon now? You don't have a spiritual weapon. <laughs> you can have a spirit for uh, sure. Sorry, no, just before you do, sorry Thorum. Um, it is going to make another... Oh, uh, actually... It's gonna do. No! Another, it's gonna do another legendary action, and it's just going to rise on its feet and simply with its wings just go and just the wings bring up um, no. dust and web and wind and it forms a, a small twister around it. Um, I need Gunner. Osei and Amara to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, these are my forte. Add a d4. <laughs> that's so <laughs> rude. Let me just put my hair up. I don't know why that sounds like pizza bowl. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to like prepare myself to die. Um, oh, wow. Dexterity save. Mm-hmm. Can you roll in here? Ain't nobody adding their d4s. Add your d4. Oh no! Isn't that a 19? It was a natural one and then a two. That's but a it's plus seven. Three. It's oh. fine. It's it's ten. Yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> oh, oh shit, it's sixteen. Okay, oh, Okay, so what do we get? Hey, Grant, what have you done? 
<laughs> what did you get? A 10. A 10? Gunner, what did you get? I got a... What is my... Nice, a dexterity... Dexterity is my thing. 24. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Gunner just so, dematerializes into... Yeah. You don't take... And then comes back together again. <laughs> you don't take any damage, but oh um, Osei and Amara... Flavor it with a little bit of psionics. I'm gonna push it. Back. Nice. Uh, Fourteen points of um, bludgeoning damage, and you're knock prone. How much? Fourteen. Oh, oh you're not get oh. pushed. Oh, push, oh all right. Fourteen. Yeah, you get yeah, pushed yeah, to yeah, the lava. Um, <coughs> it's all good. Then. It's my name. Then. Then. then there's a then. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm not okay. You're not okay. You're not okay. I it mean. can then use the same legendary action to simply fly over 40 feet, and that's directly in front of you now, Thorne. <laughs> How far away is my spiritual weapon now, though? It's 10 feet away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a spiritual weapon. Does a spiritual weapon get an opportunity attack? Oh, speaking of opportunity did attacks, did, did the t- did old mate Doesn't target target a creature that is not me within five feet yeah um I say I would like to hit it sentinel yeah yep okay so you get to I say gets to she did also fail her save though and took the same amount of damage it doesn't save me but it does mean that I get to hitty hit it oh uh, down across. although you were not prone so I so, so no, none. No, you nothing. Until you if you're not prone, yeah. you won't be able to get an opportunity attack. It's not an opportunity attack. Oh, it's right, Sentinel. Yeah. Sorry, yes, with Sentinel, I'll let you do that. Sure, but Osei won't be able to do an opportunity attack. That's fine because it's a fifteen plus nine. Ah, uh, that hits. Good. You break off its toenail. Woo! Um. Okay, that is a D eight plus five. Okay. Sorry, Thorum. Two seconds. We'll get to you. Sorry, Thorum. I need time to think. Okay. <laughs> um, that is seven. Mm-hmm. Um, when a creature you hit with the sentinel, sentinel attack, its speed becomes zero. It, it stops where it is. Yep, it doesn't move. So it, it, You look so thrilled. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's good. No, I, I just remembered the rule, that's all. So good stuff. Um, it doesn't move from its position. Um, I'm going to... Who was it looking like it was flying towards? towards yeah, towards Thorum. Thorum. I'm going to look at Thorum and be like... You're on the ground. Thanks for it. Go for it. How far away did that lava land? Or did that um, acid breath land from the Andes Dragon? It went 15... No, 10 feet away. It um, landed 10 feet. Just so you know... Someone is leaving the chat that you might want to shout out. We will get to you, Thorin, I swear. <laughs> oh, okay. So Dithron's... Dithron? Dithron. Dithron is heading off, uh, which is my brother. Thank you for checking out the hey, chat. Thank you Hi, so Sam. much. Yeah. <laughs> and giving us some sound advice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sam also <laughs> plays <laughs> D&D yeah. and has DM'd before. Oh, okay. Yeah. So please critique my DMing uh, terribly. Um, <laughs> cool. All right. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Night, Sam. Merry Christmas. Is he still hovering 10 feet above the ground? Yes. Who's Sam? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Um. Do any of that, so how, do any of that acid breath get on the walls or anything above me? Only onto the floor. Only on the floor. And myself. And you. You always ask these weird esoteric questions. (laughs) Yeah, but it all makes sense in the end. The reason I ask is... (laughs) Did that, that, that acid breath would have melted away a lot of that cobweb, right? Revealing, I assume, many of the corpses which were previously yeah. uncovered. Lovely. So, I was like, oh, I wouldn't go that far. No, no, <laughs> that's true. That's true. It does uncover them, but um, they're still fairly wrapped. Oh, they're still fairly wrapped. Thank you wet. so much. Right. They're not. Uh, they're not free as they were. 
pre Not per se, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Still wrapped up pretty tight. Still fairly oh wrapped. God. Okay, well, in that case. <laughs> Boy Caban, thank they you too. We just had two subscribers. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Thank so, you so um, much. I don't know why that. Aeoncraft gifted a subscription to oh. Ben's brother. <laughs> Um, and then he Boy Caban gifted, <laughs> yeah. gifted one to Evan Future. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much, Evan. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, I'm going to summon my guardian of faith. Right. Uh, is there enough space to summon it between me and this? Um, between me and the dragon? There's heaps of space. That, that, that's, where, that's where you are. Your spiritual weapon is actually between you and it. Oh, so it's only flying towards you. It hasn't arrived yet. It actually didn't move at all. It, su- it yeah, suddenly it got, it got stopped. stopped it from flying you. Because, oh, yeah. yeah so if, d- if that means you change what you want to do, that's fine. You you do what you need to do. Nope. I'm going to cast that Guardian of Faith right in front of it. And if possible, and just for flair, because I can also use my spiritual weapon as a bonus attack, I'd like to have my Guardian of Faith appear in the space, just in that little square between the spiritual weapon and the dragon. Grab it, smack the dragon with it. Let me just bring in the Guardian. Sorry, I'm making you upload stuff. No, no issue at all. It takes two seconds. Or three. Or four. Ooh, can I make you do that? I got a, I got summon a spirit. Can you? Yeah. Massive Stop. Guardian of <laughs> Okay, so do it again for me. Whereabouts do you want it? So right between my spiritual weapon and the dragon. There? Yeah. Okay. So you know, I just wanted to reach up, grab the spiritual weapon out of the air and smack the dragon with it. <laughs> okay, so with that, um, make an attack roll. Right, so I'd roll... Um, so for the um, Guardian of Faith, that is a saving throw on your part. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is a... Dexterity saving of 15. 15? Uh, but I think with that mindset, though, that might make it harder. I don't know. That was a natural 20. Neat. Um, in that case, the balls. it only takes half mm. damage. So it takes 10 points of radiant damage. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that is a... <laughs> that is a... That is a... 19 to hit. 19 just hits. Lucky. Lucky boy. Um, so at... Fourth level, that spiritual weapon, yeah, does 2d8 plus 3, which I'm going to roll electronically. I can't find the d8s. They're not yours. The DMs, that's right. Um, so that's <laughs> Imagine stealing the DMs dice. That's, yeah, I may have forgotten my dice. So, um, that is 13 points of also rating them. Okay. You see it crash it's the the spiritual weapon into the dragon and its neck is exposed now with this burning acidic goo that's pouring out onto its shoulder and down its body its body doesn't seem to be affected by this blood but as it hits the ground again that pool of of wet ichor just burns through anything it touches um it just reels back and roars again and as it does um it's going to wait for you to finish your turn <laughs> i think that's been done that's you done yeah i'm not moving anywhere okay it's going to it's probably going to make three tail attacks Oof. michaela before you go any further i'm really sorry to interrupt you <coughs> please I do something um so I cast, um, well, I didn't cast it, I transformed yes, um, correct. into my thought form before the battle. Correct. So I kind of need to work out how many rounds it's going to last for. So how many minutes did we converse for after I kind of transformed? I know after I you transformed? Yeah, I meant to ask Less than a minute. So, okay. yeah, less than a minute. I'll just take off. I've like, trained. Ooh, like a couple. Cool. Are you to rain? All righty. So with that, uh, Thorum, are you doing anything else? All right. This glowing, angelic creature just beams in the room with Thorum's thought, it appears. Can I use a move action to try and rip some of the web off some of these corpses? Yeah, definitely. That's fine. Just make a strength check for me at the closest uh, webbed creature. That is a 
A 15. You rip out probably a good three quarters of sticky web from a um, from a particular particularly well um, tied up dwarf um, who is still quite dead looking without a pulse um, blue in the face really deep blue as though suffocated terribly um, and this these icky little black marks on his face as well this just um, just probably like like wet dirt on all over his face. He's still wearing his clothes. Has his greyish beard. Otherwise, eyes closed. But you collect the web. No, I'm just trying to free the corpse. Okay. Do you the the top half and down to its knees are all free now? As much as possible. Yeah. yeah. So only its feet are still um are still tied together with with web at the moment with that roll. Cool. All right, it's going to do three um, tail attacks. Um, so, with its legendary action, um, one of them is going to go towards... Uh, is that tail attack? Tail attack is 15 feet. So, yeah, one to Gunner, one to Osei, and one to Amara. So, Amara, you first. It's going to be a 29 to hit. Oh, you know, that just barely scrapes through, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's going to be... Anxiety on the brain. Uh, 12 plus 6, 18 points of uh, bludgeoning damage as the tail whips around and... 18? 18. Smacks you in the, in the neck and the head. As it continues... It swipes around it towards Osei. <coughs> that will be a natural five. Uh, Can but I just say, there's two more subs that have come through. Really? Really? Jeez. One to so Saddest cool. Kitty. Thank you, Saddest Kitty. 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 No. And one to um, Odin. Oh. Hansen. Thank you so, so much. So we actually guys. have a hype train going. Oh my gosh. So for the next four and a half minutes. There is a hype train. <laughs> we hype know train, stuff. It's train. been three weeks. Thank you so much you for the subs, I'm guys. Feeling. Really appreciate it. Um, awesome. Um, with that said... That's what a hype train is, right? <laughs> <laughs> hype train. Use your dances on that. Uh, use your dance <laughs> call out. Um, so, Osei <coughs> still gets hit with this, um, with this tail. But does she take less damage because of the hype train? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 12 Emphatic. plus 6 is 18. So yeah, does the hype train get in the way? Does it block it? <laughs> <laughs> she took more damage. Oh, what? Um, and then Gunner. You, ah, you miss. take uh, 19 to hit. To hit. Hit you. Wow, these are high rolls. 16 points of bludgeoning damage on you. Halved. Halved, yep. Cool. Okay. And with that, um, Thorum, you've had your go. Back up to you, Rook. All right, so... There's a lot of people around there. Just a little bit. I'm going to have to do two shots. But if he hits me with that, I'm going to try to open up. There. What's your range on that weapon? 150 range. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, 30? To hit? Yeah. Just hit. No, I'm kidding. It really hits. Fifteen? <laughs> <laughs> um, Fifteen points of damage. Yeah. Okay. Second shot? Mm-hmm. It's not much, really. Um... It's over 20. That hits. Fuck it up. Which is... Um, eight? Eight points of damage. Oh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen points of damage. I forgot to add the seven to the last one as well. I'll allow it. That's fine. Um, mm. So... So that'll be 24 for the second hit, including correct, that yeah. plus seven. No problem. Um, that's pretty much my turn. It turns its head and roars towards you, Rook, as you, it, it sees you just 
it's loose two arrows towards it and as it does both arrows strike within its throat inside its maw um go on I was gonna shuffle please uh just slightly a little bit around the corner yep and to the side yeah a little bit more because I so basically what I'm trying to do is if I get blown I don't want to get blown to the lava oh I see yeah yeah so you can <laughs> go if you go there <laughs> yeah, or something yeah. after seeing what I saw before sure. I was like Ugh. sure um, what's the girth <laughs> <laughs> Um, you so I'm a little bit more exposed now, but you are, but yeah. yeah, a little bit safer from the lava. That's right. So, no, I'm just I did oh. that because um, we've had more subscriptions. Oh, for God's sake! Jesus. How dare all of you? Thank you so much. So we've had two more subs come through. Thank you guys. Um, courtesy of, I'm gonna get this wrong. Um, Slinor. Slinor. Sliona. Thank you. Um. Can I Thank just you. say though, this person, if it's the same person that follows us on Twitter, who just quoted our tweet actually, has actually followed us for so, so long. Really? Never seen in the chat, but know they tune in because every single tweet I post, it's just like, like, oh, Thank like. you so much. Thank you. Uh, so Genuinely. we're on level three hype train. Jesus right now. Christ. Um, we also have 15 viewers. So oh, guys, welcome. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Um, Darker shot. Uh, tune in to see who they're fighting or just look at the screen. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. Go for it. It, it doesn't say whether or not it's an action or a bonus action. Yep. Hide in plain sight. Hmm. It's not going to work because it says you can spend one minute. Oh, well, then that case. It's not, not going to work after reading that. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's not going to work. Yeah. Um, right, so I've, I've done that. I'm done. That's fine. Two arrows shoot into the back of the throat of this creature who starts to roar but then goes <laughs> and just spews out acid and blood uh, onto the ground around it. Um, and is that all you're doing? That's all I can do. Yeah. All right. Correct. At the end of your turn, it's going to use. Um, another legendary action. How many fucking legendary actions does this motherfucker have? Only one legendary action option can be used at a time and only at the end of another creature's turn. I'm sorry. A I few. I wasn't actually questioning. Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> um, so, actually no, just the one. It's going to use just the one tail attack, actually. Um, on you guys. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. I'm yeah. sorry, but... How do we... Slinor. Hi, Slinor. Slinor. What are you doing now? Slinor just wrote the sweetest message oh. in the entire world. It says, no worries. No idea how to pronounce my name. Um, but it's my pleasure, guys. I and my friends simply just like to listen to you. So I, or we... Become often silent and just enjoy the ride. Oh, look, that's amazing! That's, yeah, that's so cool because, like, <clears throat> that's that's really special. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Thank I, you. I guess anybody who's watching the stream, um, don't be afraid to join the chat. Yeah, uh, but if starters, you don't want to join, if you don't the want chat, to join the chat, like, thank you for just, just viewing. Just enjoy. Yeah. We, yeah, we see, we see all. We are all seeing. Thank well, you so much. Creepily, lovely message. <laughs> Very creepily. Um. It's actually not going to use any legendary actions at all, actually. <laughs> uh, um, oh, after that, that message, that comment. no, that, that yeah. comment, I'll allow it. You might have you saved, saved us. You saved us. The chat used a legendary action to cancel you. <laughs> yeah. Also, they're from Norway. Just oh, so yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same people from Norway. Yeah, yeah, we know those guys. They were studying the other the other time. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, guys. Yes. Um, hey, we're here. Every Tuesday. To, to have you here. So, oh, yes. with that... Um, <laughs> The dragon is next, and it is going to roar again it's with scary. this spatter okay. of acid around its body. It looks around at you all and in common yells out, See! Do you see there is nothing that can stop her? Look at the reward that she can give you! Look! And see what happens when you resist! And with that, it's going to use a claw to try and grab Osei. 
and it's going to make a grapple on her. Bitch. A grapple. That was a 22 uh, on a grapple. Let me just do a um, separate acrobatics check to try and get out of that. And that is not going to work on a 16. He grabs Osei and then starts to fly high and above. Um, if he leaves the, within 20 feet of that guard in the face, it takes 20 radiant damage. Is that Straight considered 20? an attack? Also, is that he hasn't, considered he hasn't a spell? He has done damage to her, and it's not a spell. Yeah. No. But he does mm. take 20 points of damage. Okay. So 20 points, and you all see he as he leaves. Uh, he just before you do. Sorry, he can save, he can save for half damage. I'm okay, let me just roll for that then. What's the saving throw? Uh, of Dex. Dex. That's a natural 14 plus 2, so yeah, he does. So half damage? Half damage. Okay, Ten good. Alright. Um, yes, Gunner. Um, never mind. You sure? Yeah. I'll give you the, the, yeah, just let me know if you want me to clarify something. But as he does, he flies directly upward um, and Osei is with him here. Uh, Amara, you can make an attack of opportunity if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, I will. I absolutely will. <laughs> that was my attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> do I get advantage for that fucking... No. Piece of shit over there. You, you do not. <laughs> You're all half. <laughs> You're disorientated. It's a 16. That does not hit. As Fariso in dragon form flies high above the air, over and beyond the bridge and over the lava. Can I speak? Please. Can I speak at least? This woman is all stolen. <laughs> Hold on. We need like a find out I say. I'm just like, app. I'm app. just double checking because my okay. link it actually doesn't use an action unless I give it the ability to speak back. Sure. So I will say in its mind, I will say I will say Farizo let her go. Do not harm her. Okay. And he can't reply in your mind? Not in my mind, <laughs> but I will, like, use my strongest tone. I will be like, and when I say let her go, don't let her go into the lava. That is mean. Throw her back. Throw her back. Okay. Um, make an intimidation check for me. Okay, I would almost argue that I'm not trying to intimidate. Okay. I'm actually more trying to... This is desperation. Okay. So I'm Escalate. not sure if that's maybe persuading. That, that's fine. Yep. Um, persuasion is fine. Yeah, it's the same modifier, so I'm not trying to be sneaky. Don't um, blame me. Don't blame me if it's low. Uh, it's a fucking that one. Are you serious? <laughs> I said don't blame me. Did you say 11? <laughs> it's a that one. Okay. No modifier. Okay. Um... Roaring voice. out <laughs> from high above and flapping the wings while Osei, with her rapiers, is actually starting to gain some traction and is starting to try and stab the claw that is holding her in. You can see from this vantage point the claw is tightening around her and the, and the points of the claw are digging into her back and you can hear her yell. Ah! and just starts to scream in pain as the claw gets clenched more and more and this dragon looks down at you all with this roar and says submit is there so much time here that I can make an action no this is this is this is his turn and this is his movement and this is his um, grapple effect and with that, the claw extends. And you hear her scream as she drops. Into the lava. And she lands. And her, her body 
slams against the side of the bridge and you hear an audible crack and her scream stops with my zephyr strike can I make legway to grab her what's your movement on, on 60 zephyr 60 feet 60 yeah with the pl- and I have Slayer's Prey with plus 6 to grapple and you have what sorry Slayer's Prey with a plus 6 to grapple to grapple 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 16. You get there. Make me a strength check. Do you get to add the d4? Do I get to add the d4? No, it's not a save, it's a check. 19? Yeah. That's 17. You get to her. But only just after her back is broken on the the side of the bridge. (laughs) And as she slides slowly without any voice left in her, you grab the scuff of her back as quick as you can make it and you hold on to her. She that you can see down below and you can feel the intense heat from this vantage point now is the oh, bubbling is of the lava and you are currently there. Now, this is still not your turn, technically. So I'm gonna have to leave it at that point for you. You can't do oh, anything I feel more like at I the saved moment. Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all it is going to do, because it has done its movement. So, at this point, with Osei um, just a dead weight with you one hand on her no I'm dead weight <laughs> it's your turn um, can I see any um, like boulders or anything that are like in the magma river make me a perception check from where you're where you are unless you wanted to move are we raised are we not like I feel like I'm gonna raise you're not the bridge raises slightly in a, in, a, in a curve over the top. There's a raise here. Okay. And that's raised a little bit down towards a staircase leading downward. Right. But that ledge that's to the left of the staircase, is here? that not like a sort of... Small it's, it's, a, it's a little ledge, yeah. It's about 10 feet high. I'll move, I'll move toward the river as close as I need to, to like look inside of it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I mean, you can be right on the edge there. Do I have to be that close to see inside? No, but still make a, per- a perception check for me. Okay. Like, I'm looking for... Things um, that are sticking out of the large Medium to large sized boulders. Sure. So there shouldn't be yeah, shouldn't too be well too hidden. Yep, <laughs> that's fair. If they exist. Um, it's a 14 plus... Four, so 18. 18. Having a quick but focused look around the river, it's all smooth. Okay. Um, Bubbling. Can hot. I use, can I use the same roll to just yep. scanning anywhere for like <laughs> large to medium objects? There are. On the banks, there are just over the top of the river there are a few medium sized boulders maybe four of them mm-hmm. hi everybody it's yeah, what the fuck <laughs> twitch just randomly opened on my ipad i'm sorry everybody um, i'm not subscribed so i get ads <laughs> oh amazing um i will fuck. that was weird. four you said four of them Do I see anything smaller? Uh, you see about six smallish boulders. Okay. Probably about the size of a head. This is totally... Sorry, I won't be much longer. That's okay. So I will animate the four mm-hmm. medium mm-hmm. and the six... Sorry, another four small because yep. that will be the two perf medium so yep two, two four six eight and then mm-hmm. 
two, four. Actually, no, that's 12. Sorry, another two small. So only, I can only animate two more. Are you casting a spell? I am. Okay. I'm casting animate objects. Okay. But you I'm not using... That, I was going to say, do you still have that fader? I do. So I'm not using any semantic, any verbal, any... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I see. Go on. Go for it. Yeah, so I'm doing that. Okay. So I'm casting animate objects. Yep. And they start to very slowly rise in your control. Yes. Um, and as my bonus action, I'm going to have them... Oh. If it's within... Five, how far can I make it move? <laughs> you know how I made that comment about not being subscribed when I see ads? <laughs> yeah. Wakey Man may have uh, gifted oh me a subscription. Oh my god. Wakey Man. <laughs> Thank you, boy, you man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Much Thanks. appreciated. Thanks. <coughs> I, uh, I watch the episodes every week, so doing it without, literally, he's laughing. I watch them every Monday oh, before true. we stream. That's true. Thank you for the no ads. Okay, so I'm just realizing there's a whole chunk of text underneath that table, and I never read it. Um, I'm going to send them into love. Okay. Yeah, any particular order or... Um, Just plunge into lava. Into lava? All right, How sure. much movement would that use? They have 30 feet of flying movement. Um, they have 30 feet? Yes. Yeah, they, they'll, they'll be able to get there. Yeah, how much do they have left? How much do they have left? Uh, probably about 10 feet. I'll move them under the lava. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this is considered difficult terrain for them. <laughs> nope, the it's fine. Up the river. <clears throat> up the river there? Yeah. Yep. Toward the black dragon. Oh, upward. Okay, sure. Yeah. They are, they're, they're just hovering now. No, they're submerged. Oh, they're still submerged. Yeah, they're directly just, underneath. They've just gone, <laughs> yep. like torpedoes. They're just, they're just underneath, but the dragon is still hovering above. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yep. Okay. So, I don't know where they end up, but... They'll end up a, just directly underneath the dragon. Okay. In the lava. All cool. of them. Cool. Okay. That, that's the movement that they can take. Is that all you're doing? Yeah. All right. So with that... He's yeah. He's trying to decide whether to be a jerk. Pretty much. But he can. <laughs> so... You should be a jerk. I need to, um, because this is a this is a <coughs> black dragon. So it will now that it's let go of Ose and looks down and sees Rook. You suddenly appear and grab her, going to do the same thing with its wings and buff it and make this wind whirl around everyone. Um, but only Ose and Rook are affected. But Rook, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Or take damage and be not prone. Um, when you add a D4, that'll be the 13. I get, I'm, I'm adding a D4. Left, right? Yeah, and I think we've only got three more rounds, and then we're done. Yeah. With our first ten rounds. 13. 15. Right? Oh man, 20. 20? Yeah. In total, dexterity saving throw. Yes. Sounds good. You continue to hold on to Osei just. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just. It would have been. Can I ask if it was an 18? Would it have been different? I'm not going to tell you that. <sighs> <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you either way. That roll of two. Mm. So, <laughs> with that, um, it is Amara's turn. Fuck yeah. Cool. I'm going to move right on up to Ose and Rook. I've got Ose I've got underneath. Like, she's. You know, when you do that. If I arms, stand here... And I'm like... <laughs> <You're> <laughs> realistically, you can make that action, but you're still just holding on to her because it's not your turn yet. If I stand here, I've just moved myself on yep. the map. Can I reach her to put a health potion in her? Yeah, put it in yeah. her. Shove it in her mouth? Yep. Cool, I have a... I've been, I've been hoarding these potions for so long. Um, I have a potion of greater healing. Okay. Um, which is a 4d4 plus 4, so... Sorry, D and D Beyond just crashed. Please give me one moment. Please, please. 
Uh, 4d4. I'm just going to roll this digitally. This is easier. Digitally? Uh, so that's 14 points of healing for her. 14 points. Does that use an action to use those potions? That potion, sorry? Uh, uh, an action. An action? Okay. So for my bonus action, I am going to... Can I... How far am I away from? How far in the air is the dragon? 10 feet. So I can't reach it right now. If I moved up one space, I couldn't. I still couldn't reach it because it's above me. Correct. So if that's the case, am I able to use my bonus action to try and help Rook, like, bring her back to safety? Uh, yeah, if you want to make a strength check to try and pull her out. Like, throw her away. Um, help yeah. action? Yeah, Is that let's what, do it. Yeah. That's only advantage, though. No. I'm using my strength. Oh, combined okay. with your strength. Which is a whole 12. With my strength? 12 in total? Yeah. Alright. You get... She's again. She's dead weight, so she's she's. She's not conscious. <laughs> no, she's <laughs> conscious, but her back is in shambles, and she cannot help you over with with the injury that was caused. So she's going to just need to. She's she's groaning heavily as this beast is above you. You drag her up, and you're you're almost there on the bridge, but you're still you're still needing to a bit of help. So it's my action and my bonus action. Mm-hmm. Else. Alrighty. Um, oh, how many feet did I move? Do I risk the attack of the Knowing that it might use a legendary action against me. It was about 30 feet that you moved. I My movement is like 50 feet. Yeah. So you got 20 left. No, I'm going to stay there. Stay there? Okay. Also, I look really bad. <laughs> Thor, I look bad. <laughs> we know. Okay. It's going to, yeah, at the end of your turn, it's going to make another attack. Um, this time towards you, Rook. Um, so it's going to make a tail attack while it's in midair. And it swirls around a lot more dexterous than it's been. And this, with the roar, the tail. Wait, this is attacking someone within five feet of me. Sure is. Can I'm you? Can you? Can you reach it though? It's still ten feet away. Miguel is opening his mouth, and we're like, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. When a creature within five feet, no. No. This one has to ah! Level ten characters. Yes. They're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> no, no, it's 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 you, you clarified. Um, that's a nineteen to hit you. To me? Yes. With its tail attack. Hmm. Interesting. Do I add a 1d4? No. <laughs> not to the armor, <laughs> no, not to the me, armor, yeah? Me. So that hits? Yeah, that hits. Alright. Fuck. That is... No good, buddy. That is 20 points of uh, bludgeoning damage slamming into you. You've not been damaged yet. No, because I got healed. I have been damaged. Yeah. And with that, um, it is Osei's turn. She's going to make a strength check to try and, with disadvantage because of her, f- with her current state, to try and uh, get back up. Can I do a little bit of RP here? Yeah. Am I still carrying her? I'm helping you. Yeah. We're both carrying her. Oh, we're both carrying her. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I pull out my dagger. What a cute family. <laughs> and I go, we need you. And just... And just feed her. Right. I see. Okay. Right. <laughs> the most messed up family. I thought, no, like, hold on. I, <laughs> thought you were sta- I thought you were stabbing her and I was like, <laughs> bitch, are you serious? Okay. And with that, she doesn't seem to resist. She, looking at her... She looks delirious with pain or simply just uh, uh, 
merging onto consciousness and unconsciousness, her eyes rolling around in her head as she simply drinks. Mm. As she does, though, her hand she very shakily ends up on your shoulder, the other one on your shoulder, Amara, and she, as she's still like her her fangs and mouth are over the top of your hand you can feel her teeth digging in more into your hand uh in fact you're gonna take you're gonna take three three points of piercing damage as she herself slumps uh, with your help and and support slumps onto the bridge and away from the lava danger. So she's there now. And you guys are next to her. About there and there. This creature's still above you. Hovering. Ten feet in the air. And that's all she can do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm but she's still holding on. Later. Mm. About that. <laughs> You're a vampire now. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> so. Uh, let me clarify something. But in the meantime. I need... Uh, Thorum, your turn. Alrighty. Um, so I'm going to move um, by full 30 feet, just up to the beginning of that like grey part of the map. Yep, um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Literally perfect right there. Um, and so the dragon is floating within 60 feet of me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40. Yep, absolutely. Huh? 60 feet That's exactly. Right. Oh, that was on my Instagram. Instagram. I'm going to um, use command. I thought that was weird. And I'm going to command it to come. Oh my god, that's a big. <laughs> at the space in front of me on the ground. Okay. Um, what's your D spell DC? 15. <laughs> it rolled a natural 14 uh, plus its modifier so it's going to save that uh, which is wisdom saving throw wisdom yeah so 21 in total oh, oh well, I tried um, I was going to do something uh, which I will do later what else are you doing Thorum? it's <laughs> What else are you doing? Um, that is my, it's my full turn. That's all I've really got. Mm -hmm. All right. As you finish your turn, Rook. I'm okay. It's fine. You feel, <laughs> as Osei is drinking from you, you feel an overwhelming weakness of your body as though you suddenly felt super <laughs> lethargic. Um, and you actually do take some necrotic damage. <laughs> Eight points of necrotic damage. Um, eight. And your maximum health at the moment is reduced by eight. <laughs> so if, if you heal full health, you're still only going to heal eight points less than what your maximum so you is modifier over idea over idea maximum yeah 86 cool yeah, yeah all got right it. thorum that's all you're doing that's all i got all righty next up um when my little device wants to load oh, can I i'm gonna be a bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> say throw some shit so you're an absolute coward the epitome of what's wrong with the twelve. When we slay you, I'm going to tell tales of the five. Your death will grow our legend. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, you'll get your response soon. Oh, hey! Hey! Rook, you're up. All right, so I'm still. You're you're technically the... grappled at the moment, by the way. By. By SA. Hmm? Oh, so I'm I'm carrying SA. She's she's got you on hold. So she's holding you by her teeth. I still have Zephyr Strike. Mm -hmm. In order to in order to undo what she's doing at the moment, you'll need to um, make a an acrobatics or athletics check against her strength check to undo the grapple. But that does take an action. 
if I carry her, will it be easier for me to carry her while she's attached to me? It won't make a difference. Oh. Um, if that, but if your intention, uh, intention is to actually attack something, then you are actually going to need to ungrapple from her. Yeah, no. Um, I reckon you're going to get an attack of opportunity here. And I'm going to... You know this, Molly? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, well. I just... Oh, I just okay. was it was really perfect. I know. It's been playing for a while. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I have ears. Alright, so I am going to... Run. Wall scrapple. Yeah, 40 feet. Um, behind the staircase. Uh, on the right hand side of the mountain. So just to clarify, you want to go this way? Just yeah, with, um, with, with, to have a look over here? Just so I can clarify. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that way? Behind the... Yeah, that way. Behind here? Correct, yeah. That way? With Osei. With Osei, yeah. She's, she, again, she is a bit of a... She's heavy. In order to do that, though, she, it'll probably be half movement, even with your long strider, because you're carrying someone. I have Zephyr Strike, which is 60, and that's less than 30. It's less than 30? Yeah. How so? Is that it? Am I right? It'll be 30 feet if you have Zephyr Strike. Uh, so you can move 30 10, feet with, 15, with that. 20, 25, 30. Okay, 30. Oh. I'm actually at 35. And Can't Zephyr Strike hold. allows me to move an extra... Hey, uh, Miller. Whether you can miss your walking speed increases by 30 feet. So your actual movement is 65 yeah, instead of. Yeah, so I can move behind 60. the staircase. But that, even halved, it would be rounded up or down? We're rounded up. So then, yeah, it would be 30. I can, yeah, 35. I can move behind that staircase. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That will, that will put you. Other way. Well. Towards my friends. Oh, he did show you that. That's okay. Yeah, That's right. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 would put you probably there. All right. Let's, we'll all do that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. And that that's my move. Yep. And I'm going to check on Osei. Mm -hmm. So she's still feeding on me. And I'm going to... Until, until you decide not to. I'm going to push her off. All right, make a uh, either an acrobatics or strength <laughs> check, depending on which one's higher. Just to instinctively, she's going to make one to try and hold on. All right, so 13. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, it's fine. Oh, 13, 15. Yeah, you, you untangle from her. You're okay. bleeding profusely from your hand, but you're fine. Is that an action? Yeah, grapple is. Do I have a bonus action? Yep. Can I... Talk to her and then wrap myself up mm -hmm. where the bleed is. Mm -hmm. Do you have wrappings for that? Do you have a medicine kit or something? Uh, uh, a healer's do, kit? I do. I don't have Alchemist kit? No. Probably won't have wrappings enough to, to bind oh, you. Mess kit? Mess kit might have a bit of cloth, but it wouldn't do as well as a healer's kit. So feel free to try with the mess kit. Yeah, I'll use the mess kit. All right. Whatever sort of wrapping that you'd normally use for things like just wiping your face and such, um, and uh, and just uh, bits of cloth, you get... Make a medicine check, actually. Make a medicine check. This is going well. 
Ugh, nine. Ten. So Ten? Yeah, you, you seem to heal up the majority of that of that wound with the wrapping. Right. It looks like it'll still need either healing, uh, professional healing or magical healing, but otherwise it looks alright. Nah. nah. <laughs> um, alright, that's your turn. That's my turn. How does it look, by the way? Who? That's fine, I said I only He looks turn. hurt. Dragon Boy. He looks hurt. Z. So next up is um, the dragon. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Ooh. Stop 25. coming for me. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. The dragon rises high as it flies over to above that, oh, just above the um, the rock that's overlooking uh, Rook, Osei, and Thulrum. The rock over Rook. It's going to roar and say, Then you will not leave here to tell it. And it's going to loose a torrent of acid towards Rook, Osei, and Thorum in a line. And I need Rook, Osei, and Thorum to make a, a, a dexterity saving Is throw. Still yes. Oh my god, that's a easily a save then. Um. Oh no. Oh no. What was the wisdom? Uh, dexterity. Oh man, 17. Um, 22. Negative? What's a nat one? Nat oh, one? With your plus four. I didn't cast them, man. Oh my god. I didn't cast less than you three. Alright. <laughs> so Thorum, you take 54 points of acid damage. So the full amount. It's just half of that. Rook, you take half of that, so 27. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. This and is so good. Osei takes the full amount. And as you watch... Her body just contorts uncontrollably as she starts to, like you, Thorum, and you're shouting in pain, just uncontrollable yelling. You watch as her body shrivels, her skin flakes and peels off, and smoke just rorts around her. And as you are just trying to pat yourself off and, and, and pull this icky... Um, uh, just vomit off of you, Rook. You look over and you still see this twitching form of Osei next to you. Um, that was for naught. Is there any life <laughs> to her at all? Okay. At the moment, she's twitching, looking over at her. You don't know how, se how severe that's affected her. Now. That's all that this creature can do this turn, but it, um, it does rise higher off the ground again. It goes to its full 80... F uh, no, it can only go 40 feet in the air. So it's 40 feet in the air because it moved as well. Um, and that's its turn. Gunner. We got this. No, it's just like every time it comes back to my turn, everything's fucked and I can't <laughs> do what I wanted to do. Um. Yeah. So I don't know this as a character, but as a player, I need to know. Sure. Are those objects taking damage in the lava? They're not. Okay. Because um, they actually have hit points. Um. Um, I will cast at level two. It's a stupid idea. Mind thrust. Mm hmm. Um, at 
to try again. Saving throw? Yeah. Intelligence? Mm-hmm. Um, it rolled a natural four. But it's going to use a legendary resistant to save against it. It has one left. Good. I'll just keep using it then. Um, so, I'm not, I'm not salty at all. <laughs> um, so, you take six. <laughs> six damage plus one, which is seven damage. Mm-hmm. You got this. Right. How so? Oh, just with the mind thrust, it's half damage? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else happens. All right. Um, and for my bonus action, I will instruct the um, objects to move uh, 30 feet toward the dragon, but stay under the lava. Okay. So as close as they can get to it without yeah. coming out of the lava. They they go around this area here. Is the dragon hovering still or? 40 feet in the air. 40 feet, even above that rise. Yes. So is it 40 feet off the rise or 40 feet from the bottom of? 40 feet off the rise. Oh, so how high is that rise? That rise is about 15 feet high. Okay, so it's. So 55 feet. Off, off the ground. Okay. Off the lava pool. Uh, car. Someone make him land. Doing anything else? That's my turn. Alrighty. Amara. Would you say where it's hovering, it's shadowing? <laughs> <laughs> there is shadow that in itself creates underneath it, yes. What about above it? Above it. Like on its Ooh. back, for example. Or in the in the um Or its head. In the cavern though, like above? There's plenty of shadow above, but it's about fifty to sixty feet higher. Parachuter. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm going to run up to Rook. Yep. I'll do it. Sure. I'm going to hand... Does it take an action to hand him something? No. I'm going to hand you another potion of greater healing. I'm going to say, give this to Ose. It's not for you. It's <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> no, you can of... only do that in your turn. Though. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I'll it takes just, an action to do that. I'll get rid of that from my inventory. Yep. Oh, so many potions. Um, I'm gonna shadow step above it Mm -hmm. and drop onto it. So how far can you shadow step? 120 feet? 60 feet. 60 60 feet. But what's the shadow step range? 60 feet. I 60 feet within a space I can see. So you can only shadow step 60 feet in like ahead of you, basically. Let me double check that. beyond work with me so stable. when you are in dim light as a bonus section you can teleport up to 60 feet to an any unoccupied space that you can see in dim light or darkness 5, 10, 15 20 25 30. 30 I still have actual movement just so you know so oh, I okay. have to climb this if you'll have to climb it to get high enough for shadow I'm gonna climb it mm-hmm. all right yes can I ask would because of the the um the way this cavern is lit, and the the light that's shining from the lava pit, if it's below it, would it not be casting a shadow upward? Correct. So yes. would there not be just like a shadow where it's yeah, it's about are like yeah, maybe yeah. sixty feet above. It. Yeah, it's still, about sixty feet above it. Yeah. It's still high. Yeah, it's still pretty high. Am I going directly onto it, or am I falling before I get to? Well, it's it? fifty five feet in the air, and you have sixty feet. It's you forty can drop feet in the it. air. Forty five feet in the air. No. 55. 55. Oh, sorry, yeah. 55. So, yeah, so I guess I would go five it. feet above it, mm-hmm. drop that five feet. Mm-hmm. I do have slow fall if I have to use it. You won't need it. Um, <laughs> For the purpose of this, you are you can land on it. I want to okay. land as close to its head Wait, as it. possible. Okay. <laughs> do I, I still have my action? Yeah. You you all watch um, Gunner. You just see this as well as Amara simply disappears from underneath this... You, you climb up and jump over this this rise this landing so right at its feet 
down. Or just a, just below its feet and then disappear. And then above it, you just suddenly see it from a different angle and you are now on its on the top part of its neck. The nape. So as my action, I'm going to bring my staff down straight between its eyes. Okay, make an attack. Strike it. And I will get advantage on this attack mm-hmm. because I shadow stabbed. Which I need. It's a 25 to hit. That hits. Uh, Can it make a constitution saving throw, please? Sure can. That's a 22. Fuck. Oof. So nothing in that way happens. Um, But it will take a nice amount of damage. It will take 11 points of damage. Um... It is considered magical damage, and I do get to strike it again. Go for it. Oh! It's a 24 to hit. That hits. Roll for damage. It's nine points of damage. Nine points? Did you get something? And I'm going to lean in its ear, and I'm going to go, surprise, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right. my turn. Make your final move. What? How did it kill it? <gasps> so, I guess. What? Kill it. Really? This is the first thing I'm killing in this campaign. <laughs> Think of my. Three, so. Poetic. Yeah, so yeah, say, yeah, actually. Surprise, bitch. As I. <laughs> is that what you said, Freezer? As I bring down the staff, just like between its eyes, skull just Enjoy like. Enjoy this. <laughs> And then I'm going to look at everyone and be like... <laughs> and then you plummet to the ground. <laughs> and then I use my slow fold to help me not take damage. And okay. entertain you. So. The dragon skull opens up. And its final roar after, its, after the first hit is suddenly shut out. As the gooey insides of its brain are exposed and this enormous crack echoes through the cavern and as you leave its broken bleeding body it plummets the short 40 feet and crashes into the ground rolling another way weirdly its wing sort of cracking um, its body slamming into its wing and its wing just just absolutely being destroyed by the weight and it's unfurling in its unfurling it rolls and it starts to roll into that dip that heads into the lava as you all watch Amara start to slowly glide down onto the ground (laughs) you see that the dragon I'm going to do a Thorum dance right now Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Um, can I try... I don't know if it's going to stop it. Can I try and um, <laughs> send the stones up out of the lava okay. now and try and push with the... Th- Six of them, try and push it back up onto the rise so it doesn't fall into the lava. So strength... It'll be a strength check. Yeah, there's... Well, there's... Stats for it. I do need to interrupt. Six of them. John just redeemed. Do a little dance for every single person. (laughs) (laughs) Let's do it. I'm I'm happy to dance after this. (laughs) Killed Farisa. Hated him for such a long period of time. (laughs) Piece of shit. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) Alright, thank you, John. So, how do you want me to do this? Because there's six of them. All in unison yeah it'll probably be a um <laughs> scary probably be a strength check simply with advantage for you because you're using multiple um unless they have stats specific. Oh, they do they empty glass they do have stats wine. what's their strength um 10 10 10 10 10 6 6 <laughs> so use the 10s um roll me oh, that's also just roll me six six rolls. Okay. To simplify this, could, um, actually, you tell me. 
No, no, no. How did you want to? I was going to say, I, can I just use my my spell modifier? You can do that instead. Yep. Yeah. Do advantage because of the amount of of um, of rocks that there are. Okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Um, the it's hovering. It's it's not quite on the landing. It is heavy and mm. s- and the rocks oh, still six of them still heavy mm. but um even with that it it might take another go but you have prevented it from, from falling, falling into the lava at the moment now what's everyone doing as there is now silence i'm in running the um, towards I'm, Rook. yeah i'm consoling i say mm-hmm. i'm like <laughs> Give her the potion now. Blasted woman. Give me a moment. I say. <laughs> She's like melting. Before that happens, I need to roll the dice. Okay. For time did pass slightly during during that uh, during those few last moments. So let me just check out what this roll is. So you can check this if anyone can check this if they want to. Oh, why? Because you're about to make me Because we failed. <laughs> so as Amara starts to race towards Rook, Rook, you have just been handed the potion. And you saw Amara then just disappear. As you turned to attempt to uncork it and hand it to Osei, the battle's over. And with that swift motion, you look down and the twitching has stopped. And in front of you, smoke coming out of the body of Osei now still. Do I see this? Yeah. Thorum! Thorum, help her! I'm going to walk on over and look down at her. How does she look? Is there any sign of life? Make a medicine check. (laughs) How does she look? Dead. (laughs) (laughs) That's a nat one. (laughs) You're not sure as to her condition. She... The... the Thorin. only we had a professional bag. Save her. I... Alright, so I... At this point, while no one knows anything going on and understanding who she is... I pull back my bandages that I did before and then hold them up and see if she reacts to it. Full room. Full room she's gone. Alright, alright. I'm going to pull out... Remember when we were in Sharm and I bought 600 gold worth of diamonds? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to pull that out I'm going to turn to Amara and say You know she's not a creature of good, right? I owe you. You don't owe me. You take on a burden of responsibility. Okay, save her. If she kills again, it's not... Save her. Why are you touching my hand? Fuck off. <laughs> I'm going to use 500 of those 600 gold worth of diamond cool. and use my last 5th level spell slot to cast a weapon. Was that Raise superior dead. healing yeah, potion? Yeah, save that. In case somebody important died. Raise <clears> dead? Raise dead. So, I return a dead creature that I touch back to life, provided it is being dead no longer than 10 days. If the creature's soul is both willing and at liberty to rejoin the body, and I send her, I say, if she had a soul before she died, I don't know. (laughs) Couldn't, like, revive her or something? She's dead. This is bigger than... There's nothing to revive. She's gone. Um, The spell closes all mortal wounds, but it doesn't restore any missing body parts. (laughs) <laughs> She's melted forever. So raise dead. Raise dead. Okay, just check that out. Rigi digi dead. Rigi ditch. <laughs> Bringing back per se. So those um. <laughs> Those objects... They I, I guess while this is all going on, I cork the bottle of superior healing. 
Superior Healy? Supreme. Might as well drink Supreme, no, yeah. sorry, it's not Supreme, Greater. Greater, Greater, I, I cork it and put it back while he's doing his chant. Um, Go on. Uh, they only last for a minute, so will I get another chance to roll? Okay, cool. Yeah, do, do that while I figure yep, this out. Okay. Um, I would like to investigate what's left of the dragon. What, what? It's not as good. Uh, looking over, I say, and waiting for what's going on. I, turn my head and check out what's going on with the dragon the dragon is being held up by rocks at the moment it's teetering on the edge of lava and you can see that some bubbles of the lava are, are impacting the skin is it possible to get it and grab it grab the dragon yeah and do what with it get it to the land you can certainly yeah you can try and pull it up sure make a strength check with <laughs> disadvantage at wow. disadvantage not a simple kind of spell. So yeah, start correct. Yeah, correct. Amara is just like pacing like a motherfucker. Yeah, disadvantage. 13. 13. And what did you roll? Um, sorry, Gunner, what did you roll? Um, 20. 20? Jesus. Okay. Um, with the help of... With it's my spell casting modifier, not my strength okay. modifier. I was like... <laughs> with the help of Rook, um, who's straining against a wing of this creature, the other one, um, the rocks and Rook pull up this lumbering dragon onto the landing. Do we get the sense that Friso was always a dragon or he was given this as a gift from Tiamat? Theresa specifically mentioned that it was a gift, but you're not quite sure as to length of time or circumstances around that. Does his body look like it's reverting form or it's just staying a dead staying, white dragon? Staying at the, as a dragon at the moment. Okay. Um, after we pull it up, I pull out my knife mm -hmm. and I look to Gunner. We should dissect this thing. Make an investigation check. Are you actually going to start hacking it? Um, I'm, I'm actually nowhere near you. I thought, no, didn't you help me pull it up? I used my, I used my objects to lift it out of the, the lava. I'm hoping on your intelligence to help me. Well, that's why I can't help you, because I'm not near you. <laughs> Don't need it. Um, <laughs> 18. Okay. The one interesting thing you notice about this dragon as you go around to try and salvage uh, body parts or anything of value, within certain parts of its scales, you notice a different type of material embedded within its skin, holding some of these scales together in the hundreds of small pieces you notice pieces of obsidian. Mm -hmm. Dark as the scales that it, that it wears, you gather about 37 of these obsidian pieces, about an inch long each, and, and they are in an, in an octagon shape. Wait, did you just hack it up? You also gather about 54 black dragon scales. He does. Okay. And as Amara paces around, and as Thorum <coughs> is continuing to perform this ritual, does anyone want to do any last things? Uh, yeah, I will actually go over to Rook. Um, I will revert form by this point, obviously, because it's been over 10 minutes. Shaving. Mm -hmm. You know, we probably could have... Um, we probably could have brought him back to life and asked him questions. Freezer. Yeah. You're asking me to bring him back to life? No. I'm saying we could have. Should we have? To find out more information, yeah. Can we? It's probably a bit late now you've cut him up. 
I'm not too sure he should have had the opportunity to so. He's betrayed us a number of times. If we revive him, what, he give us more of a time to test his silver tongue? I'm not the one to ask about this. Thorum is the one that has that power. I know, I'm just saying. Never. What yeah. I've gathered here. What have you gathered? Specifically? Yes, what have you, what have you gathered? <laughs> 37 pieces, one inch long um, obsidian stone. Stone. And 54 pieces of dragon scout. There's also an intact dragon brain, two dragon eyes, Eight heart, horns. Hmm? horns. There's still other things you can gather if you wanted to. Do I take those? If, if you have some sort of receptacle that you'd like to put them in, absolutely. I remember from the last time I did a dragon, I couldn't use my axe, and I was told to use my knife if I can cut it out. Knives are a bit more efficient, yeah. as your experience shows. Um, there's a lot to be harvested from here. Yep. I'm going to let you handle that. Um, yeah. Do you think it's weird that there is obsidian inside him? I must admit, after carving this man up, I, yeah, I think the definition is man. We knew him as Fariso, but alas, it's but do a we black know that dragon. He wasn't a dragon all along? I don't know. Was he? I asked. must ask, can you... That's what we could have asked him. Can you check this? Let me just look up Wikipedia. If he was a dragon all along, can you maybe identify anything that's a part of this? If this was his specific material form? Um, would I know anything, Michele? You can, uh, uh, about... What he's asking. The question. About the obsidian? Uh, if this was his natural form. Oh, natural form. Um, even with Arcana, you could only really understand more about the... Uh, you're welcome to make it. It'll probably either glean or not glean information about transform transformation of dragons. I lost Kips. Um, yeah. What do you think? Well, from what he said, uh, the implication was that he was simply uh, a tool of Tiamat. Uh, well done, by the way, of felling him. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to aid in this uh, battle. I abhor uh, harming my own kind. But um, to that point, the the willingness to transform, or uh, Tiamat as a god, uh, or a dragon god, as it were, in flesh, uh, can bestow gifts like this. Uh, if it is true, it is not unseeming that uh, someone like an Archmage can survive such a transformation. It seems like he may have simply uh, become a, a servant of hers unwillingly or willingly depending on the circumstances but now there's no time or uh, option for us to ask him yeah I know is, is Osei alive? So, is she like as, as you guys are discussing this this is why I wanted to ask if there's anything else you wanted to do um, Thorim is still performing this Before ritual to oh, see okay. whether this is something that will happen or not. So, is there anything else anyone wants to do at the moment? No. Okay. I'll try and harvest as much as I can. Right. Get the eyes. I heard they're important. And the tongue. Get the mm. tongue. This may help you. So. <laughs> as Rook harvests said things from the Black Dragon and sum summarily uh, performed surgery. I want the head. Amara paces impatiently. Thorum methodically putting your candles out, putting the correct runes underneath the webbing, making space for the ritual to be had, making runes and other magical affinities to perform this particular spell make a religion check please <laughs> hey, 
15. 15. Slowly, purposefully, and within an hour, the runes are set. The magic glows around the still body of Osei. As the spell is cast, you look down and see the magic that's performed through Edo, while Gunnar and Rook and Amara watch on at this almost too bright to see glow in this dark room now. It seems as though even the lava pool dims at its magic. But your check. You already know, Thorne. But the spell. It does nothing to undead creatures. And with that knowledge already in mind. As the spell finishes. At an absolute last ditch. <laughs> I will use my divine intervention. As an action, I request my deity's aid and roll a percentile dice. Oh. If the number roll is equal to or less than your cleric level, your deity intervenes. If successful, you can't use this feature again for seven days. Well Let me just bring this up. Son. So you have to roll below 10 or below. Divine intervention. You got this, bro. Hold on. I'm doing this electronically. <laughs> I don't want to dumb trust my hands for this. No, I don't trust your hands. Yeah, trust what, your hands. um... <laughs> Channel Divinity... Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Sorry, just trying to find this. Is it under life? or it's action... Yes, like a divine it's not a spell, it's an ability, right? Yeah. Ability, yeah. What the hell is this? It's a specific cleric ability, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, divine intervention. It's okay. Like da 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. Describe assistance, roll a percentage, and you're lower than your cleric level. Right, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it needs to be a percentile dice of, of 10 and lower, so you need to roll. Um, so, tell me first, roll the. the the 10 sided dice that is like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, and give yeah, me, D100. And give me that first. You got the spray. 20. Uh. All right. You kneel and you close your eyes once more as the glow of the spell fades and is unsuccessful. <laughs> and you reach out <laughs> to Ada. And using this ability, you wait one minute and two in silence for any help to provide assistance and life back to your ally. And all that enters your mind in return is silence. And here we end with one of you cast down by the betrayal of Fariso. In an empty space in the Maraw Holds, where you now are. And we're going to end it for this evening. Don't clap in. No. A good episode. <laughs> All right, well. Phenomenal. Second episode in a row where I will not clap you, Michele. Oh. <laughs> in a row. Oh. 
say. So apologies in advance. Oh, sorry, in in retrospect for um for the, any te- the technical issues before, but we hopefully couple, yeah. you enjoyed uh, the second half at least of our episode and the battle that was had. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you so much for the subs once again. We're yes, so eternally much. grateful. Hopefully you enjoy our um, our new little things that we've got. Um, the logo, uh, the um, the music, and we've got other things in in in, in um, planning too. So uh, watch like out for that. Like a tattoo. <laughs> and giveaways Help. and other other secret little things. So um, we'll see you all next week. We're back on. Have a wonderful new year, everybody. Um, actually, yes, happy new year. Yeah. We're not going to oh see. Oh my god, yeah. we're not back till twenty twenty. Yeah, actually, a cu- couple of little shout outs that Please. we didn't get an opportunity to do. Merry Christmas, yeah. for starters. Yeah, we Merry weren't here for during that period, and um, happy new year. Mm. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. Twenty twenty. I just have to say. I feel like twenty twenty is going to be a big year. What the fuck? <laughs> we're going we're to be doing some good stuff. It's gonna hey, be a big year. It's gonna be a good year. You, yeah. yeah. 2020, 2021. <laughs> hey. Like, who wants to forget 2020? Shh, hold on. <laughs> 2020 has probably been, I think, one of the hardest years that yeah. anyone here in this room and anyone who is watching has probably endured, particularly people who do run small businesses. Yeah. Um, so, big shout out to our friends, Meeples and Dragons. Yeah, thank you. Um, 100% you yeah. to be able to support us through a time that is that is difficult for any small business. Oh, um, yeah is unbelievable on top of that 2020 might have been really hard but one of the best things that happened in 2020 was that we decided to take this really crazy venture and sit down and buy three cameras and three microphones and think that we would be okay at streaming a dnd <laughs> campaign um and apparently a thousand people have taken interest in that so thank you a hundred percent um, for all of your support, um, we say it a lot, but we will never stop saying it. Our favorite part is not necessarily talking shit to each other on a D and D stream. It's connecting with you guys. Definitely. So yeah, thank you. Um, here's to a happy 2021, and we love you all very dearly. Aww. And with that, have a lovely night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Hey. See you next year. <laughs> see you.